I sent him, send him some, like maybe some how to read hats. for dummies. <laughs> maybe, maybe Harry Potter a little too advanced. <laughs> Oh wow! Maybe some audio books, so maybe you get used to hero reading. <laughs> God. Oh my god! Interesting. Oh. What's so ironic is that both both of them messed up on the exact same ad read. Oh my right. god! Hold on. <laughs> it's okay. It's interesting. Okay. Interesting. They both messed up on the ad. It's okay. Man. Don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. I can teach you. I will teach you how to read. You messed up. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh you God. messed up three times on the same thing I read. <laughs> but when I messed up, it didn't look as bad as you messed up. They would have seen nah, you messed up. No, I don't, I don't know why. I but you have say, glasses and it's like your I phone. I couldn't say Bluetooth. I don't know why I couldn't say Bluetooth. I kept saying nah, Bluetooth. That wasn't no, no, no. I messed up that because. That was. I kept saying no, Bluetooth. At first, bro. But come yeah, on, that's dog. what I'm talking about. The your every game has to improve, bro. Nigga, it was an ad that we just I got. messed up because your screen wasn't big enough for the ad and you have a Blackberry screen on a Samsung. I'm looking at the exact same screen as you. What are you talking about? But you have glasses too. It was, just, it was just small. It was just small. True. Hey, it's your phone though. Yeah. I use that every day. You were reading on the same phone. I don't read. I don't read a fucking. This is this is this is a lot. No fucking. You throw that bitch away. That would make you look dumb. Yeah, that that's a bad phone, bro. I bet that phone laughing at you. <laughs> I did it on purpose. <laughs> let me let me downgrade the P and G on this. <laughs> what? Why do you have that face? I bet it's oh. something not serious. Cause that's the shit Lo does. He just had face. No, no, they, but they, they kept replaying. Nigga dropped his phone and he react reacted like like I'm about to go grab Whoa. my phone and fell off a cliff. W conversation but, switch. Yeah, yeah. W conversation. <laughs> I switch. didn't even switch. You but, asked. But me hey, what man, happened. thank you, you guys for joining happened. us on the set of the peer to peer podcast. It. I was just going to react. W reflection. W, w deflection. <laughs> I didn't even reflect. You deflected. I didn't. You asked me what happened on my phone. Alright bro. Alright bro. You're going too far. <laughs> Kids, if you need an example of changing the a subject, nigga, that's perfect. And they asked me what was going on with my phone, and now I'm I'm changing the subject. Hey, welcome, man, I'm just saying, to another episode of the Peer Peer Podcast, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got ad reads. I don't want to brag another, but we got ad reads. So, hey, y'all showing love to advertisers will make us plenty of money. And oh my God. it's just true. I'm just trying to be transparent. It will make us a lot of money and more ad reads and, and then money. So. And that's a good way to start off this podcast, by just being transparent. You know, I was watching XQC do a stream, and it was a gambling stream. And it, it, his, at, he felt like there was like an eerie bit of like criticism because gambling streams is not regular streams. Mm -hmm. They're gambling streams. Well, are, you, are we going to do the intro or no? A little less ethical. Are we going to do the intro or no? Hold on, bro. Ah. I'm going to get to the intro. Oh, let, me, let me also be, just being transparent, let me just say this. I have, a, I have a speech impediment. Y'all made fun of me. That's crazy, dog. Oh, I me too. Know. I got wow. a list. I didn't I'm, even know. No, no, not, not a list. I no, stutter. No, 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 no. You don't have a speech impediment. I do. I mean, bro, you might. Nigga, but not 30. no more, bro. That's not how, that's not how bro, speech Bro, I talked to you on a podcast for eight years now, bro. It's not speech impediments work. They don't just you want go to feel away. sorry for you? No, you don't know how to read. That's different than a speech impediment. Want to be sorry for you, nigga? Wow. Grow up, nigga. You 30, nigga. You had that shit for 30 years. Wow. <laughs> you had a speech impediment. You've been reading ass since wow. I met you. Now you got a speech impediment. I've been at a speech impediment. It flares up randomly? No, I just, I just have a speech impediment. You know what someone told me today? That sucks, man. Someone, someone today told me, I just want A&P to be successful before Duke hits 30. And I thought that was the craziest thing I heard in my life. Is it not already successful? <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> Also, why are they putting a the timeline on Duke? That's also wild. A nigga telling me I got to do something before I'm 30 is fucking crazy as fuck, nigga. No, they start making the gumbo memes. What's that? The gumbo? Remember we said Duke like gumbo for Mario? Oh, true. That was, was an all-time Goomba. <laughs> Who's Gumbo? They gave hey, Goomba hey, a okay. grill. Can I get back to my thing? Yeah, so I saw XQC on stream. They gave Goomba a grill. Goomba a grill and one of those curved brim hats. <laughs> and they put him in a Jeep in Mario Kart. <laughs> Where is this at, nigga? I need to see that shit. You know, it's for that shit to me, nigga. Um, all right. Uh, but nah, I just, he, he started off his stream by like just being very upfront and being like, yo, I know this is a gambling stream, um, but they're paying me a lot of money to do it. But the money he was using in the stream was his money. So he cleared that up off the rip. And then he said the reason he was doing it was for content. So then I thought, like, damn, that's actually very refreshing. So many times, like, content creators, they just tell, like, half the story because the rest of it, it's like, you kind of had to, like, what's the word when, like, you put, like, a good face on something sugar that's, like, it? taboo, maybe? Sugarcoat it? Yeah, sugarcoat it. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was very fascinating. So I'm going to just start doing that more, and we'll just see how that goes. But, hey, um, welcome to the new set, man, of the Peer Peer Podcast. It's new because I've never seen a chasm this large between me and Marcel. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's getting larger by the podcast. Yeah, so what is. does this signify, Lo? I don't know. What does this mean? I don't know. Apple Podcast people, man, y'all been dropping your five stars. We love you. Google Play, Stitcher, um, Spotify, we love y'all too. Who we don't love? Audio Mac. Fuck those guys. So make sure to go say that. Peer to peer, man. We got peer to peer clips. Link is in the description, man. Peer to peer on YouTube. The video is available. Peer to peer on YouTube. The video is available, ladies and gentlemen. Turn on the notification bell so you can go. No, the gang, 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 gang. We got a TikTok that's about to get terminated because TikTok's on our ass. Me. Huh? We, I ain't introduced no one yet, John. You got to wait for your moment, brother. Mm. Oh, y'all went out of order. Yeah, he did go. I don't know why he went out of order. Oh, okay. I thought I missed something. I mean, we started with ad read jokes, so we kind of started this whole podcast out of order. I guess. And they if are you, trying to get us our TikTok out of here. Yeah, they're trying to pack up our TikTok over dumb stuff. Bryce, I, you know, I sent, well, the tweet, the TikTok I sent you on Twitter. Remember that? For like a week ago? Of ass, just ass on the screen. You couldn't see nothing ah. but ass shaking on the screen. Remember that TikTok I sent you? Look in your DMs, Twitter DMs. DM? Just, just. It was about a week ago I sent it to you. That was allowed on the website. But for some reason, us making a joke of any kind and they delete our TikTok or mute the TikTok. And they said, like, one more strike, and they're going to pack us up. So we might have to make a new one. And we got, like, 250,000 followers on, on, on our TikTok. Yeah, we could definitely make it back. Easy. I'm not tripping, but it's like, damn, they're on our ass for no reason, bro. That's a fact. We can't make that, but I ain't really worried about them. I ain't niggas. worried about that, man. Right, TikTok, okay. tick clocks, nigga. Tell TikTok to click rocks, nigga. <laughs> True. Like, boy, we peer to peer, nigga. Never yeah. yeah. Bro, I'm pretty sure I sent it to you. Did I send it to the wrong person? That'd be tragic. You never sent it to me. Yeah, boy. We peer to peer. I was about to say, you never in your life sent me TikTok just a straight ass TikTok. <laughs> you never done that before. Nah, it was because of the person who did it. But anyway. That's, that was Twitter. Yeah, I sent it to you on Twitter. Oh, oh, oh my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought you meant like. Yeah, but uh, you see it though, right? Yeah, okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, all right. So anyway, um, peer to peer is growing. So we appreciate all the growth and all the new listeners and all the listeners who've been chilling with us for a minute. Bro, I saw this card on my desk. It actually open. made me pissed off now that I know now I know the context of that. Yeah. Which is crazy, but whatever. Bro, you could shake ass. Whatever. Man, I've seen like World War II jokes. Like the worst kind of jokes you could bro, every But to be fair, some of those um some of those accounts get deleted. They do get it. Let me just make it up again. Bro, yeah, after they get like four million views on their TikTok. Oh yeah, I mean fair, but like Trey Rags, I think he's working on his second account and some of his audio's been deleted. He's had to start just uploading his shit he be talking about. No, his was wild. His, yeah, his, his was wild. wild. That's our video his today. Every time know? I think it gets crazier, it gets crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he thinks up with that stuff, though. <laughs> It'd be funny. He kinda like you, low. True. Like a little low. Oh, he like me though. Huh? He like me. You kinda look like him. I'm old, him. Man. He's Trey Rags. <laughs> he got stained. And I'm low, nigga. <laughs> he got stained. He can read. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I'm, I'm low, nigga. You know what I'm no, I, I guess mean, it's red polo versus actually, black polo. Do you actually can't? Are you? Can you actually not like not read? I can read. I have a speech. I'm not trolling right now. Then what was that right there? A speech impediment. It's not funny, low. I'm not funny. No one's laughing with you right now, John. I'm having a serious. I, legit, I legitimately. Have Where are your papers? Impediment. <laughs> Where your papers? You can't just say stuff and don't have your paperwork. <laughs> you having paperwork for not I'm being for, able I to know, read for, or even for anything. Like if anybody say I'm, your I'm, speech impediment card, that doesn't exist. Okay, John. so do you when, when when does it show though? Um, a lot of times when I'm focusing because I'm, I'm like trying to think at the same time while I'm trying to talk. You don't have like scripts. Is that why you don't do scripts and like that that's for your really videos? Why. Well, no, that's not the only reason. Sometimes it's just easier for me to just say the stuff that I'm saying. John, why are you but laughing, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to let him disrespect you. Oh, I got gosh. you, I got you. Hey, hey, hey you John, this is not the time, bro. This but, is not the time. But but the even even, even while I am doing that, sometimes I still, still stutter. Even when I'm trying to like record, I still stutter. But you don't stutter in daily convo. Because I'm not like trying to remember or think of the things I'm saying. So you got a reading department? In my opinion, you're like, John, John, you're you're like, you're way more, you're way better than me at like reciting things off memory though. Like my, I like what? Like right now I did my ad read, you did your ad read and I was stuttering a lot. Like y'all see like the edited version of it, but like, you know, I suck at remembering things and like reciting them. So usually my solution to that is to just know something really, really well. That's all I do as well. I just know it. I, well, I, 
That might be true, but I'm saying you're significantly better at it than me. That's why that was just surprising right there. Mm-hmm. Well, well, re- recalling yeah. recalling things, if I've said it to myself like over and over and over again, this nigga's just... <laughs> Man, ahead. what's so funny, bro? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You know what's go so ahead. crazy? Go ahead. Go we, ahead. we know so much about John and we just don't see on the podcast. And this nigga has the audacity to just try to violate me. No, right no, no. I'm just saying, this, this is crazy. all new to me. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's all new to me. It's crazy. He's dog. laughing at you right I now. I know it's crazy. That's crazy, John. It's you said, crazy. who told you this, though? The doctor or your parents? <laughs> no, I, I legitimately grew up. I, my parents paid for like a. No, like my my parents pay for a speech therapist and everything. Like oh, I you had to, a speech therapist. Yeah. yeah. So what is that? I mean, like, I mean, that what does a speech yeah. therapist so you, do? They literally like talk to you, explain to you how to speak properly. Like they explain to you how to. But like, like how though? Do they so walk you, you through a book? You just don't know how no, to they, talk. They, you, just, you what have to do with reading? You said you, you said you can't read. No, it's anything. Anytime where I'm like trying to like think of what I'm saying or, or I'm like actively I'm trying when I'm thinking and talking at the same time. That's when it's the worst. Like oh. even when I'm recording and I'm not like reading okay. anything. I'll literally still. What can study. we do to help you, Lo? It's it's a. I'm born with a speech. <laughs> I don't know. What so to how tell do you me. get better? You just recite things over. I, what I do, this is why I, I just recite things over and over and over again in my head. True. Ooh. Well, I'm so sorry, Lo. It could also be possible that you no yeah. longer have a speech impediment. You just suck at reading. No, literally. Oh, when I don't. No, read, no, 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 no. It's I'm, a serious condition, videos, agent. Let's when stop I'm, it. Wait, Let's wait. not hurt his feelings. Let's be Let's clear. When I'm, when I'm recording my videos and I'm not reading anything, I still stutter. Because mm, you was doing serious. better in the ad before you had to read, which is like, if you had to, you know, there's certain parts in the ad where you have to read it yeah. verbatim. It's the first yeah, time. Yeah, I've been reading. I was already reading part of the ad before I got here. So right. the f- first portion right. of it, when I can just go off the fly and freestyle, right. yeah, I'm fine. Right. Mm. But even then, I still understood what they were telling me what to say before I got mm. to what I needed to say. The second, the last part of it, I had never even saw before. Right, right. John, please, bro. I feel you, bro. That's, I'm so sorry. I From my bottom of my heart. <laughs> wow. I, I'm literally opening up saying I had a speech therapist and all that stuff, bro. They did a terrible job. But um, You're Alfred, John. They didn't do, they didn't do a terrible job if I make thousands of dollars a a month by, mm. by talking. <laughs> they can't they can't done a, a terrible job when I make thousands of, literally thousands of dollars. How's that possible, go. John? I go. make tens of thousands of dollars a month by she talking. added tens to it. How is that possible? We get, we get you a millionaire. Nah, John. What, what's get going you a on? <laughs> and ain't quiet. Me. Nah, he quiet. Hey, hey, nah, that nigga hey, quiet. That's ain't crazy. Ain't nothing for you to lose that tens of thousands of dollars from a nigga like me in a ski mask, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch out now. Let's watch out now. Give me my credit card. Don't worry about it. That's credit. Huh? It's tangible, my- nigga. It's tangible, nigga. I'll just cancel the card, John. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, nigga. Don't worry about it, John. Don't yeah, worry about nigga. it. Don't worry about I'll it. I'll take your glass. You won't see me coming. I'll just go buy some new ones with the tens of thousand dollars that I earned. That's <laughs> Yo, straight. <laughs> God damn. That's straight. And the tens of the thousand dollars I stole, I re up. I hire employees. Mm, nah, nah, John. It ain't hitting the same. The Get Low Gang, LLC. <laughs> get Low Gang, LLC. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I actually had a speech therapist. Hey, yeah, man. I actually had new, like two of them, actually. I, I, have, really? a, I have a list. Did too. you fire the first one? Words. John, please. No, now is not, not the time. No, we, We're not talking about you. I didn't, we didn't fire him. We just moved and I got to find another speech therapist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, when I talk so about my how, list, nobody cares. John, please, it's not about you. Marcel, when you were having speech myself. problems growing up, like, what? What did he say? I don't know what he said. Did he say he was going to hang himself? You don't care about me. It's okay. <laughs> oh, my. It's okay. John, John I'm sorry. Saying, man, the closet is so ironic. <laughs> it's over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, Lowe, John, we'll get to you, bro. Chill, bro. We're talking with Lowe's opening up here, Lowe's okay. It's okay. Fuck me. <laughs> my feelings don't matter. This is how I it's act all about when, my, the rich. when mom takes my controller away growing up. We're like, all right, man, fuck this. What's the point? <laughs> Yo, nigga be upset to that extent because somebody took a controller away. I was heated, bro, because you couldn't play them. So how bad was it? Eighteen wheeler. Could you like? Was it to the point where like you would, you would like? Because I know people who used to speak like that, where it was just difficult to get out words. It was never that. It would more or less be like I would like say sentences, and there might be points where I stuttered within the sentence, but not like. I can't get through a sentence without stuttering. It would it be like noticeable? That. Like people around you, they'd be like, "All right, that's, that's Marcel. He has a speech impediment." Or, um, or they couldn't know. They couldn't tell. Nah, well, by the time it got to the point where it might be like noticeable, or like I would remember people noticing it. I I had done like multiple speech therapy um, 
sessions at that point, like years of it. So it wasn't like as bad as it once was. Now this next question is gonna sound like a joke, but I believe me, it's not a joke. <laughs> when joke. in English class, when like you, it was your turn to read. What did you do? I just read. Like normally. I mean, it depends on what it was. English class when that bad. It was like science. When they say like fucking big ass photosynthesis and shit, like, <laughs> hydrogen ah. negative ions. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, nah, nigga. And we'll, well, I'll fucking pass it to somebody else. I'll popcorn pass it to another nigga. <laughs> they made y'all read in science class? What kind yeah, of science teacher yeah. is that, bro? Yeah. You should be looking at p- periodic tables and things of that nature, bro. That's, I was about to say it's biology, but it's not biology. It's chemistry. Yeah. But not like um, biology and uh, I don't know the other astrology. There's That's a, there no, was a lot astrology of, has nothing to do with science, my brother. What is it? Astronomy, Mike. Astronomy. Yeah, yeah that word. <laughs> yeah, those two. Yeah, they would. We definitely had to read. Word. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And, all right, John. Let's talk about you. I'm bro. pretty sure that, uh, that even in chemistry you had to. No, it was a lot of just. I just never read in science class. I mean, okay. we read textbooks, but we wasn't reading out loud to the class. Oh no! Yeah, we were. Yeah. Wow, they hate y'all. Yeah. All right, John. Um, what's up, bro? What do you want to talk about? It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay, it's not okay, it's okay John. Okay. I'm just gonna go home and cry alone and make posts with black screens. And it's okay. That's how I cope. Didn't Tory Lane just do that? Kanye West technically started the wave. No, I'm just saying he, he he just posted something like where he. Yeah, I think he's going to jail. I, I did. Whoa, what? I don't, don't know, said, but that's I did see him saying. tweet something. You said crazy. like this can't be real or something like that, or. I hope not. I don't know. If he go to jail, that means he actually shot her. No, it could be something he said, he completely said it's, unrelated. It's, it's been real, and he did that 23 hours ago. And then he 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 deactivated his Instagram, too. He said it's been real. So what's been real? Yeah, he said it's been real on Twitter. Yeah. yeah you, you know, know what he said before that? Lo, you would actually resonate with this. Niggas be 17 in a four-year relationship. Like, bro, you're really just wasting your childhood. <laughs> See, like, right there? I said wasting, and it said wasted. I don't know, I don't know if that means anything. That might have been just a you thing. Don't blame that on your speech issue, my brother. Now, you know what Drake said, guys? Uh, I, and I've been listening to this song all day, which is why I kind of wanted to bring it up live on the podcast. I wanted, wanted to gather you guys' thoughts. Uh, Drake dropped on, hopped on a drill beat this with This nigga said, not if she's the one. Not if she... <laughs> what was the reply to that? <laughs> Read the reply to that. I saw that one, too. Nigga, you're so fuck. Fuck, I lost it. Oh, now uh Let's be real. That shit don't exist in today's time. Damn. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? That is really sad. Now, Drake said this. Um, John, I want to kind of get your lyrical touch. I know you're a mad lyrical All guy. Right. I want to get your opinion on this. He said. I am. That's me. Don't make me have to rise my rifle when man tries to send some young boys for me. Don't make me have to ride by high schools. So let's. Wait, you, know, like, you know, like you have book book club and you have to like gather after you read a chapter. <laughs> You need to start gathering on Drake verses. <laughs> that nigga be saying some wild shit. Although I really enjoyed the verse, like it sounded, it sounded dope, low key. This line kind of caught me off guard because I don't know if Drake is <laughs> saying that he would raise his rifle at a high school. <laughs> and in and in and in um that Daddy's Home song, he literally said like Sierra Sierra Canyon Mar- Sierra parking Canyon lot parking looking lot like, look like Magic City parking lot. And so he said what? Sierra, Sierra Cannon parking lot looked like Magic City parking lot. Who's Sierra Cannon? It's a high school. It's a high school in LA. The one Bronny goes <laughs> look, to. Look, look. But no, 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 no. I did hear some allegations of him with some young people, though. It was on Twitter, though. Right, it's like for years. The not, girl from um Oh, I actually saw that too. He was at he was at a um concert. At a concert, this girl he met a concert, and that girl from uh Stranger Things. Oh 11. yeah, I heard that too. Eleven. She was like, she was, yeah, she was underage. There's a lot of people coming when out. They first Quote unquote met, but like obviously Drake is Drake, so like and she he has like, like oh my gosh, I love Drake. Yeah, I'm about exactly. to see him again tonight. We talk every day. He gives me great advice and all this. But she and was like then, 15 or 16 at the time. Yeah, and then she grew up and now like he, he's taking pictures with her and stuff like that. Because she's 18 like now. Like, What's the odds he's just being a mentor though, guys? There's, there's an odds of that, but it's the same. That's how the last this. one came out. Another girl came out talking about her mentor was doing the same thing Drake was doing. The girl on TikTok was breaking it down. What did she, what did she say? Um, well, it, this girl wasn't. It's his, all uh, allegations, guys. I just yeah, want yeah. to stop the conversation yeah. to say allegedly, allegedly all allegations. But I mean, like Drake's so big, people don't even pay it no mind. Like not I don't see it in the no, main. No, they'll, they'll start paying it mind. Not because random, ran, not random, but like people who like are in entertainment randomly hit me up sometimes on some like mentor shit. 
they don't call it like I'm gonna be your mentor. Oh, but yeah, they'll yeah. just help me out. If I have any questions, they'll reach out to me sometimes on some like, yo, like what's good, how you been type shit. Yeah, for sure. And like anytime I have questions, I just hit them up. And and sometimes they have mm. answers, sometimes they don't know, sometimes they do. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it could just so be. So would that, you bro. mentor elementary school girls and talk to them every night on not a daily elementary. basis? It's not elementary, it's not elementary. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that's yeah. that's what, but it was high school. So. But it's it's people who have been successful, but right? How old is Drake now? He's like probably thirty. Yeah, so that's about 30, equivalent. Right, they should probably like 32. So a 10-year oh. difference. So that's about you talking to a bro, middle schooler. Bro, one of the people, I don't want to say he's my mentor, mentor but that I reach out to for help type stuff, he's like 50-something. But he just he just sees what I'm doing, and he thinks it's dope. But you're a boy. And, and so there's he he's more than double my age. But first of all, I've never linked with him in person. So let's start They there. link. They link the person. But maybe it's because of the Rona, because some of the stuff is more recent. But regardless, I think in entertainment especially, but even in just in most fields, you having a mentor of somebody who's been there, done that type shit is like not only very useful, but I'd say in most situations, very platonic. But you're also not talking about high school parking lots, though. Yeah, that was a that was a weird line. Sierra know, Canyon man. parking lot looking well, like Magic, Magic City. City parking Have y'all been to the Magic City parking lot? Have you ever been to Magic? You've been to Magic City, right? No, I haven't. What? But but you've been to like that Kell's Kitchen area, right? I, I know where it's at, yeah. I never been there when it was full. Oh, we went one time. <laughs> Who? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh Agent and John. I said John and Waleed. And what'd y'all do? That's when we bought wings. That was when um Lou Williams got hit with the like the uh, Magic City Wings scandal. And we went there, it was just it was dangerous though. It was so what? far. Bro, it was there was a there was a there was a Cracked out She was on something Like heroin Something crazy She had She just took all her clothes off And was pulling up To every car on the street Asking for money She put up to my car And I didn't even open the window And I was afraid Of what she was gonna do Put her titties on the glass Nah she didn't put no, her titties she, On the glass She, she, she was she butt was naked, naked though bro she was butt ass Zero clothes Zero clothes on her That's the Magic City it area It looked good didn't it No Huh <laughs> so it looked good. No, no we're not no. talking about a stripper. We're no, it looked about depressing. A, is what it looked like. We're talking about oh, a, homeless, a homeless, a homeless crackhead. Oh. Yeah, no, not a stripper. No, not a stripper. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to think of voluptuous. Very no, no, beautiful. no, no, no. A homeless crackhead who's probably in her like forties or fifties. Yeah, but that shit was sad. But naked. And the, and yeah, the, but that's not good. Yeah. Anyway, the what did you smell like? I wouldn't know. My I brother, was, my window was, was up. He was in the car. I went outside to go get. You offer some wings? We already we had wings at that time. Oh, but you know what the sad part is is. When I left because uh, it was mad busy. It's a Magic City parking lot. Uh, so I was just driving around while Lowe was getting the wings. And I came back because I didn't want to pay the $10 fee just to walk in. And um, I, I saw that same lady uh, with a shirt on. And she was like, chill. Which meant like she probably got the money she needed for whatever drug she was on. So it was highly likely the situation that was going on. She looked like she was fiending for something, bro. Crazy. And on top of it, there's just a bunch of people in the Magic City parking lot. Very um, interesting crowd of people. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely not a place where you would believe high yeah, schoolers yeah. are at. So when yeah, Drake yeah. dropped that bar, it was very interesting to say I the least. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with the upper class, man. Upper class? What are you talking about, John? Well, these girl, girl allegations. Remember, what's that happened to the uh, people that, that Wingate scanned or something? What is that? I don't know what that or is. Or something, some scandal with the really rich Oprah's involved and somebody else. And oh, I didn't. They've I been didn't. real quiet lately. I've never, I don't know what that is. That the Oprah Steen scandal where they had all the young people on the island? No, I've never heard of it. You didn't hear that? No. The only, only other thing I heard about Drake was he was at a concert. No, not and, Drake. I'm talking about. No, I'm just saying, but he brought a girl up and they, like, he did like a little routine with her. And after he did the routine, he asked, How old are you? And then she said, I'm 17. And he's like, oh, no, I can get in trouble for it. God, I just did. And he just <laughs> up me out. Oh, my God. Oh, so he didn't ask her that before? And no. And then, and then he said, all right, well, just, just go ahead and just get out the way real quick. And he covered himself up kissing her. And then she left. And I was like, why would you? Why would you say all that and still kiss her? <laughs> oh no, I can face five to ten years. Shit. Oh fuck. Facts. Oh shit. Over yo to the death of me. Isn't isn't it isn't the isn't the age legally sixteen in some states? I mean, some states, is, but it's still not. If it's legal, it's still weird. That is a fact. Yeah, it, 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 some, it depends on where you're at. It might be. Um, yeah. I mean, it's but, still weird. We made a, we but a nigga going around eat. knowing the rule books for <laughs> what, what state <laughs> oh, I'm in. Oh, in this state, I can get a little <laughs> freakier. Break you in Colorado. 14's the limit. Let's go. Yeah, that, that nigga is. 
That nigga's on his tour bus like, Ooh. we're in Maine. 16 we're, it is, Drake. Let's go. We're <laughs> going to Colorado. Yes, yeah, sir. That's all we're I mean. in the great state of Maine. We got a bar miss for the go to. She's 30, 16. Let's go, Drake. You can kiss her on the mouth. Great. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, if that's, a nigga dead ass, if there's a nigga with, a, to my with a fucking US map, and on the map, he just has the age, the, the fucking age requirement. Oh, that nigga's odd. <laughs> Yo, like we're, no, we we're talked about it. Alabama. We talked about it in the in the Keemstar video. Where it's like, yeah, yeah, that shit is. That's, uh, that's oh, wild. the Keemstar shit. Yeah, in the Keemstar video, we talked about it. It's oh like, yeah, yeah. People's it's standards like, is so odd. If 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 not if nineteen and seventeen is like whoa, then how could somebody sit there and tell me fifty and eighteen is perfectly fine? Are you dumb? Come on, man, just keep it the same, bro. I actually think most people. I think most people who are very reasonable don't think 19 and 17 is that crazy. Because mo- majority of the time, those nah. two kids went to high school with one another. Nah, there's a lot of people that think that's OD. Yeah, I mean, there, there's it people, depends what age you are. Look, even when I was in high school. If when I was in high school. 17, you got to be under 23. 24 no, no, we're talking, we're, no, we're talking about the two the two people involved in the relationship are 19 and 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Most, I, I, look, I, I feel like a lot of people are very reasonable with that. But I think once you finish bad, high school, the, yeah. I think the rule should be once you finish high school, you can't date anyone who's who's still in the age to have been in high school. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember when I was I in 10th grade. I mean, a freshman in, freshman in college and she's a senior in high school. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's freshman one in year. college and senior in high school, it's too late, bro. It's over. Cut it off. It's too late? Yeah. So y'all were dating all in high school and then you graduated, not, and that shit is done for. I said, you know why? Because when you're in high school, you still live in a in a bubble. You don't even know what the real world is like. Yeah, I understand that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not really. And Nowadays, I remember, you know what the real world is like. I remember when I was in tenth grade, bro. There was this girl that was in tenth grade with me, and she was dating somebody else first year uni. And I remember thinking, like, damn, that guy's low key a predator. I remember just thinking that, but like, I didn't really give enough of a fuck. That's what I, I thought too back in high school. I'm like, damn, why are these college people taking all the girls? Or all these upperclassmen taking the freshmen. I'm like, dang, you got your own grade. But then I didn't realize. If you're 18 dating a 17 year old, I don't really think it's that good. No, no, yeah. that's, that's not too bad. Not but bad. I just think that's there's, what some, that is. there's something about what? like once what, you what leave high that? school, though, bro, and you just open yourself up to the real world. And it's like, damn, there's consequences. You either rack up $80,000 in debt or you have to work at McDonald's or maybe you you, you become start becoming an entrepreneur. But no, it's like, like they don't. But most most people aren't. And they don't recognize it. But in you gotta think life. about it. In one more year, she'll be in college, and it'll be fair game again. So you're gonna break up for a year. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna take a, a year. Bro, uh, once she gets to college, uh, y'all should uh, have broke uh, up anyway. It don't matter. Something. She's getting. She's getting. She's gonna get, say some mad crazy. You say, say it, bro. Say you gonna it. take a predatory break? <laughs> no, it's not a predatory, bro. If if you're dating a girl and she's off to uni, it's raps anyway. She's getting fucked there. She's not staying. She's not waiting around for you. She's getting fucked some, regardless. Some people, some people, some people stay in love. Some See, people, that's the problem uh, with the new generation. I know. Nah, nah, nah. No, I don't want to hear that from John, I bro. Don't. <laughs> I, <just play. laughs> uh, no, I can't stand this. Bro, I think, I think <laughs> that should be the rule. I think once you pass high school, there's no looking back, bro. If someone's in the age to be in high school or if they're in high school, it's over, so bro. So you, you think once you graduate high school and you're in a relationship, you're not going to be faithful? What? That's what you said. You said she's getting fucked. Bro, if you're if you're a senior in high school right now, John, right? Right. And you had a girl who's a year older than you, right? Right. And she's off to uni. Right. She's t- she's she's not doing shit freshman year for you? Huh? She's not getting fucked? Nope. Bro, she's getting dicked down 30 different ways every day of the month, bro. My dick is not, not every day of the month, bro. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It depends. It depends how you got her locked down. And what how far it is. If she in a, if she going to school, see, that's where that's where we differ. If it's she like, going, if she going man, to school, in high school. There's no locking down, bro. You're if high go, school, if bro. she's in, a, if she's in the same state. I'm in high school. If she's in the same state or driving distance, possibly. Okay, okay. Let me but give you a hypothetical. She, okay, give me a hypothetical. I'll okay. tell you. Give me two hypotheticals. Now let's say your 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 senior year high uh-huh. school. She's freshman college. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. She's going. She's still living with her parents. So y'all still like in the same driving distance. Okay. But she goes to uni now. Okay. So she she gets invited to all the uni parties. Right. All of that. Me right? too. Technically, the, yes, you could pull up. I'm no. Technically, I will. Oh, you know why? Actually, I think the one distinction is in in Canada. Once you get to uni, we could drink at 19, bro. So y'all drinking age is different. But once you get to uni, everyone's drinking just assumes, at 16. Yeah, but I'm saying legally, like cops oh. is not going to break up a party of people over the age of 21 drinking unless it's just really loud in Canada. But all parties are loud down here. Yeah, but they also break up a lot of parties here. But back to your example. So, so what's the likelihood 
a, I need a percentage that she's not going to cheat on you if you guys are in a relationship. And let's say, for sake of context, y'all been in a relationship for uh, 18 months. 18 months. I don't, I don't, I don't think that, that That's really, that, that really I understand, I understand nothing what changed. you're saying. I understand. No, I understand. Nothing changed. I understand because, what he's saying because, like, she's now just more accessible. To I just other don't people. see her every day, but nothing really changed. Her schedule may be even more. You flexible. know what changed, John? She went from seeing the same group of high school students yeah. over and over again to tens of thousands of uni students. Yeah. That, if, if that's the case, then it wasn't real love. It, that's the point I'm making, John. But the point that your so your, you, argue, your argument of that y'all in, y'all in love and it's real at no, I'm just saying if it was real love, that's not the case. But if it wasn't real love, then she gonna cheat. Look, the point the point I'm making though is that one year different isn't like that crazy because you could technically speaking just run the fucking you can run the gauntlet through that example I blame her for every single last age. It's gonna be who she hang around. How do you feel about that? How y'all feel about like her friends? They how, tell you she gonna cheat or not? How you feel about? The type of women, like let's say you got a girl, oh, you the women she hangs Plus around. They don't care. You think her her new friends and you need gonna care about a high school nigga? Come That's on. what I'm saying. Her friends gonna be the reason she cheat. <laughs> That's true. Actually. They're not gonna care, John. You're just bringing up factors that don't really matter. The point I'm making though is that it's not that wild for a 17 and 18 year old to date. It's just not. I don't think it's that. No, great. not to date. Oh, you mean like together? Yes. Oh, that's not wild at all. But I, I guess what we're talking about. You can be 18 in high school. Is what I'm saying. I think once you, you can be. Eight, I was 18 in college. That's the point I'm making, my brother. Once you pass high school, I'm confused. No. If your significant <laughs> other is no longer in high school, I'm confused. I'm 18 in college. He's 17 in high school. Oh, okay. it's over, dog. Okay. It's over. So what were you about to say? You said how? Well, oh, how is it? So crazy? how do you feel about that? Let's say if let's say you know say you hop in a car with your girl, uh, your hypothetical girl, mm-hmm. and she she like pops on like some city girl shit, and that's like her favorite thing, and she primarily listens to like that type of music. It's, I, I I judge a girl by who she hang around. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. Listen, man, I love to eat, but I'm not a fan of cooking, man. You pull up to the grocery store, you don't even know what you want. You don't know how to make it. You get back to the crib, and now you got to cook, and you got to not mess up. And then you got to clean up all the dishes. It's a tedious process. If only there was a way to simplify it all and make everything more affordable and easy to do and save you time, there is now with HelloFresh. They send you pre-measured ingredients and recipes right to your door, ladies and gentlemen. So everything you need to complete the recipe comes in the package, so there's no guesswork. You don't have to chop up. You don't have to spend time doing all the extra shenanigans. It takes all the guesswork out of it and makes cooking fun and simple. NBA 2K22 came out, of course, you know, and I've been beyond busy just grinding my player and uploading on my channel. I'm going almost daily, basically. Mm. I don't have time, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Of course. HelloFresh got me right, man. Of course. You feel me? So it's like, it's just a way for you to keep up with living a good, nice, healthy lifestyle, building healthy habits by eating good quality food, for a good price. Mm. So if you guys want to get in on the action, go to HelloFresh.com slash peer to peer 14 and use code peer to peer 14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash peer to peer 14 and use code peer to peer 14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. John, I don't know what that sound was, but I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. Because you got a girl that hangs around girls that just like her. This shit not gonna do crazy stuff. You hang around girls that do crazy stuff for just doing fucked up shit or just not treating their man right or just having fun every time. She gonna it's gonna be a night where she have too much fun and do that. I talked to one dude, he was like, How you treat the girls, how you meet her the first time. You meet a girl the first time at a party, she getting dumb drunk, she talking to every nigga. What do you think gonna change? I I, I understand that. You know I saying? agree with so that. So if if she's in her books, she she cares about school, she in her books, she's studying, you know what I'm saying? But if she get caught up in them parties and stuff. First of all, I, I, I don't care about I don't care about no books things, but I agree that who sh- she is a reflection of who she hangs around with. Yeah. I think that, I think that's even for men as well. Like you are a reflection of who you hang around with, or it, just in general. Uh, but personally speaking, I'm yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of women who listen to city girls. Like that's the only thing they listen to. Right. Pro- probably if you listen to it like like every now and then, sure. I, I mean that's turn up music. Yeah, but was, like if you listen to it every day. But like, there was a girl I used to date. Um, Who's like from the country, bro? And I just like that she was so different, and she was she made for good conversation. She was in the middle of like her master's program in like sociology or something like that, so she just had opinions on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember every time we would hop in the car and like a Megan The Stallion song would play, she would get like gas, but she she wasn't the type of person at all. I felt like to resonate with that type of music just based off her like beliefs mm. and how she moved. Those so, be the ones. So so I didn't know how to feel about that. First of all, I didn't. First of all, I didn't give a fuck. 
But was she nasty? I didn't know what to think about that. No, not really. I actually not at all. She wasn't nasty at all. Mm -mm. She was born. I just I just don't understand why. So she was what? She was born. She wasn't really. Hey, there's some yeah. middle ground. Though. I wouldn't say yes. Yeah, she wasn't. She, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call her boring, but she wasn't like. So she uh, wasn't really fruit. Experimental. Down. I won't say she's experimental. Oh, so she just buried, buried to the books. It was just simple. In things of that nature. In things of that nature. I okay. just. I personally don't understand why so many women gravitate to that. Like, and I also don't understand why that's the only representation of women in, in the music industry right now. It's like, not. It's not the only. Girls it's not the only, side. but it's the only it's like that one wild that side that they want. Like you got some girls that would never do that stuff, but that music make them feel like they'll do that stuff. You got girls that do that stuff and make them feel good about doing it. So it's like you know well, why nigga, is that the only thing that grows though? Like why is that the only in, like guns and music? You got niggas. But that's that not the only thing that grows. Yeah, like I listen to drill music, but I, you I never drill. You know what I'm saying I never drill. But the that's music. not you the feel only. Good. Like you feel like you'll drill something with it on. Like in your car, you feel like you got something on your hill. Or like my version of that. Like if I have like a big. Like moment, I'm about to be on stage, big event. You know, I listen to some shit that gets me in the mode, but um, that's how I. But that's you have no correlation with it. it. But that's not. But that's not. I'm saying that's not. That's not the only thing for men that grows though. It's not. But it's nah. huge right now though. But there's there's female it's artists not, that that's popping though. It depends what you no, listen to. Yeah. Three, name three. Does it have to be in rap? Oh, that's what I'm referring to right now. Rapping R and B, obviously no. But okay, never mind then. I can't think of one. Okay, then. that's that's all. Okay. <laughs> but name three rappers that don't talk about violence, drugs, or girls. True. Kendrick Lamar, J Cole. Kendrick Lamar definitely talks, talks about, about those things. Violence. No, no, no. I'm, ta I'm talking about. I'm talking about in a negative conversation. Like I'm saying don't talk about it at all. It don't be negative. I'm not talking about it. negative. I'm not talking about at all. I'm talking about there's, there's some balance. I'm talking about is there a balance? Lecrae, the new Kanye West. Yeah, exactly. That's I mean, yeah, I guess he a lot of Christian he rappers. Up, he he blew up off of talking like that. I'm talking about somebody. Ooh, that, who blew up talking like what? Kanye. He blew up talking about violence and drugs, sex and girls. I'd say sex and girls too. No, he wasn't. He wasn't <laughs> talking. <laughs> when I'm in need. That was like his third album. What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? His first album was not about no drug, sex, and I didn't say about, but it had that in there. In well, and I'm talking about context matters. If he <laughs> if he talking about if he talking about. Kids out here doing things that they shouldn't be doing, and that entails doing drugs. Yeah, then sure. I'm talking about someone talking about all I, I'm just doing drugs. I'm just partying. I'm robbing niggas, it's, swiping it, credit cards. It gotta be one of those. That's what blows up. Swiping credit cards. That's not one. Of, you keep saying that, but that's not. Name that's just five not people true. that like that that don't mention none of that. Nigga, that's huge. Literally, some of the biggest male rappers don't do that. Listen. I just. I just named them. Oh. All the rappers do it though, bro. They, they talk about it. that shit, dog. But not in a way that they're bragging about how I just I'm I'm doing personally. I'm Low doing they drugs. Do. Even even the J. Coles and Kendricks still. That's what I'm saying. It's not about, about bragging, but it's that's not the about topic. bragging. Yeah, it's just that's what I'm saying. They rap Everybody. About it, but how does how does how does J. Cole talk about it? I'm not wet dreams. That's sex, nigga. That's one song out of his. But entire I'm just saying catalog. he talks about it. No, they're more. If it's one sure. He I'm talking about, about it, but there's no balance though. I'm saying anybody that talks, say someone that raps about no, podcasts you know, I'm talking, I'm talking or about, like there's lots about, about stuff. John, that, I'm talking about balance, but I'm not about to split here with this. I'm talking about balance. I'm talking about balance. There's no, there's not that many female artists. You're talking artists. about two things though. I'm not talking about balance. I'm talking about rappers that have to bring it up anyway. Girls bring it up the same way, like a balance. The girls that balance it really don't. But why though? That's what I'm asking. Why? You gotta ask a girl that. I don't listen to that. I need to, yeah, that's, that's why I wanna know. I wanna know why women yeah, only not listen to that. Because men are not to going around listening to Meg Thee Stallion enough to like for that to be a massive demographic for her. That like the way the way that female artists blow up, it's primarily listened to by women. He has a point. So why like, is that the only thing they listen to? And I remember to? we had this com we had a conversation like this in a previous pod, and somebody in the comments was like, "Bro, you could name like rappers like this, 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 and this." And I think that's the problem, though. Like I listened to a lot of rap, and I couldn't name you a l female rap rappers off the dome like that. I can name you a lot of R and B artists, but not rappers. There's a lot of female rappers. No, but not not that name don't rap them, John, about name them. Not that don't that, rap about the type of material that? he's talking about. Yeah, name them. Name them. Okay. You got uh Doja Cat. Oh God. <laughs> I actually fuck with Doja Cat yeah. too. Like she makes her she, Name her another first, one. Her first cow name ooh, another one. Her first song was a cow song. Name another one. She got Ender Last. Uh-huh. Huh? Okay. Another one, uh, you got uh, I don't See, listen to Flo Millie enough. I don't listen to a lot of but Flo Millie, but she Flo raps kind of about Flo that. Millie hard as fuck. She kind of she kind of like a Rico Nasty kind of. And I I fuck with Rico Nasty. Rico Nasty, too. but she rap she she's more like a rock she's rock more rock, rock rap. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So she still got it's still CD. That's girl, more one of my rock. favorite genres right now. By the way, she watched rap. Um, yes, 
rappers. Female rappers don't rap about nothing nowadays, though. That's what. I, that's the point I'm making, John. That's what the, you just that's the, that's conclusion the point you're making. that you came to is a. Point but we're I'm arguing making. two different subjects. I'm arguing that men rap about that's only subject. That's all they rap about. There, yes, there are male artists that. That's rap what I'm that. saying. But the so point, we both right. We both but right. The point, we both right. Yeah, I get that. But the point I'm. But the other point. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm right. We right. The point I'm making off of that is that there's still a balance, though. There's also men rap men artists who are huge that make a lot of money, sell a lot of albums, that have more deep like the depth in their songs are much more deeper than just selling drugs. Sure, yeah. there may be a song or two, but it's much more deeper than I'm that. I'm just saying a rapper that's been balanced from the very start all the way throughout. Did it have no phases of him doing that? Gets big and now he balances out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I just said it. Kanye, Drake, Kendrick, like they didn't start it talking about sex, guns. Drugs. They Drake was talking about some. I'm still fly. I'm yeah. sky high. I and dare they, anybody they try and clip my wing. Yeah. I'm dun, 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 they didn't start off saying stuff like that. Yeah. Kanye's whole first album is is the premise around like trying to find yourself, dropping out of college, going through the struggles of like that's what his entire and a lot of J Cole's early stuff is about that as well. Like it's not about sex, drugs, and it's not. Okay. Lupe Fiasco five. was not like that either. He's, I just cool. named another one. Lupe makes five. Okay. Lupe's Lupe's no, first not five. The, not the big, not the big three. Nigga, but that's my point. There's no there can't there's not a I'm not saying there can't. I don't want to say that. There's not a big three female artist trio where that's that not a gets rapper problem off. though. That's not the I'm rapper. Not saying, I'm not saying it's that's a rapper problem. A consumer's issue I'm not I'm not saying it's I'm not asking that. I'm, but I'm at but I'm asking Because if a female did do that, it wouldn't work. Or it would be a lot harder for her to make it. Female, why though? But why? It's a female. You got bring a female guest on here, though, and ask her. Yeah, but that's why we that's need you. Very good we question. Need we need a female. Rapper matter of fact, to you. the women YouTubers out there, to the female YouTubers out there who do reactions, please answer that for us. Okay. I actually want to know why. I Maybe legitimately like want to know. Ass. Why. Maybe they don't want to shake ass in real life, but they like to feel like it when the music is on. Oh, here's a good. Which, or they like to, or they like to shake ass behind. Which doors female rapper friends? doesn't like twerking their music? Chica. Who the fuck is that? Exactly. <laughs> Chica. She that's actually, a, she's actually a really good artist. So. Oh, word. That's she a, don't twerk in her music? No. Even Billie Eilish twerks. twerks. Billie Eilish started twerking? She was twerking. Uh, There's a video surface of her twerking. That's different, bro. I'm talking about twerking on, like, Wait, for actually, a music video or something. In that video with all the nude shades on, that video she did. I don't listen to her enough to know if she does or not. Because it, 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 went, it, went, it went viral. It's so weird that, like, being a modest artist nowadays is, like, almost taboo. Like, it's a weird thing to find. And not modest just in terms of, like, how much skin you show, but just even in your personality. It just don't like, sales unless you're independent. Most of these industries, they want you to fit what they want. So like you change. have to be extreme at something. I just, I just disagree, bro. And if, if it gets to that point, you y'all, niggas, so? y'all niggas have failed. I mean, so serious. The generation after has failed. If it gets back to that point, y'all niggas fail. Y'all missed the whole point of the last 10 years of music, especially oh, no. rap music. <laughs> y'all niggas just completely missed the point. It didn't feel like the industry makes my deck. I see girls that when they first come out, they're not as sexy or that sex appeal. And then like six months later, now they have all this sex appeal. They're wearing all these clothes that they didn't wear before. New teeth, new titties, new teeth, new, new titties. Ass. They're wearing less clothing. And all that stuff you, they can say no to. So it's odd that they don't say no to it. And it's odd that Cause it works. their women audience keeps buying into that same shit over and over again. It's you got to get a female on this podcast. Yeah, no cat we do. We need man. more ladies on this podcast. We That's do. Fact, we only have like five yeah, women. We only on have this five. Pod, we need bro. more. Yeah. Beautiful we women need way with more. great Too ideas. Much some beautiful, part. successful some, women some beautiful, on this podcast. Beautiful, successful, too, too many sexy, sausage intelligent parties, women. bro. Crazy. Huh? Too what? many sausage parties, bro. Actually, that has one. Yeah, if there, if, there, podcast, if there's bro. any YouTubers who want to answer that question, I did. Y'all can react to this. I, no, I no, 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 no. We want real life people. We yeah, real, we, life people we, real life people. Real life people. That's what we're gonna we're gonna bombard um a woman with that question. Like so. Why is it that all these women, all they listen to is that we're gonna see? That? That's not how you bring we it. We need up. to get two just, small I'm, I'm girls that can fit in the same chair. Two girls on one podcast. Some twins. We need some twins on a podcast. Two girls. Both of y'all niggas just talking right now. Y'all, <laughs> y'all literally just trying to out talk each that other. That would be no, amazing. Yeah. Two girls on one podcast. Low key, two, same two, chair, two girls, bro. One same pod. Twins. Two girls, one pod. Two girls, one pod. Yeah, yeah, and one mic <laughs> for both of them. <laughs> they can share. Y'all niggas is awesome. awesome girl awesome. to girl, girl to girl podcast. Ooh. Um, yo, we also gotta say this about um relationship because we're gonna we're gonna um open relationships. What? No, no, I was gonna say John, um, relationships on? on YouTube, like couple channels. Oh my mm. god, I want to make a playback video about yeah, we that. We make that, but like that just, shit is getting crazy. Just briefly, like y'all niggas gotta chill out, dog. Bro, I saw a tweet that gathered over eight, and I repeat 
eight content creators. I mean, sorry, should I say couples channels that this was the thumbnail, John. I'm going to recreate it, but you might not want to look. They yeah, had you. you, you I, I'm the other person. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so he's the man, right? Mm-hmm. And if I'm the female, she's touching herself. And the title is playing with my kitty prank. And <laughs> she's pretending like she's having the time of her life. Now, these are pranks. Wait, I, do it again? Okay, I'm going to do it again now, John. Pay attention this time. Okay, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> and grown adults are doing this. And they know their audience is little boppers, bro. But they're uh. doing this shit because it's pulling millions of oh views. Oh, my gosh, Ma. And it's, it's, literally, it's literally nothing but little kids. girls who never go out of style. Which is crazy, but yeah, it's yeah. also it's also it's just not only these little kids, it's also like lonely women who like by curiously live through like this these this fake relationship. I'm gonna break somebody with my kitty. And then what's crazy is the, the <laughs> so lonely. The whole prank. The whole prank is <laughs> oh my god. The whole the whole prank is literally just a iPhone on a dash cam yeah. shit, and they just like it's just the camera's right there on the dash mm-hmm. in a car, and they just. Act for like 15 minutes. Can you imagine? And now it's I a, slipped it in before she woke up, prank. <laughs> That's not a prank. I slipped it in her mouth while she was sleeping with her mouth slightly open, like, prank. Y'all gotta stop. Cause oh, oh for, I ain't gonna lie, for the past like like four years, y'all been getting off a lot of like odd pranks. And what's also wild too is like one person will do the prank and they'll get like a million views. And, and then y'all non creative fucks just create, copy the same thing over and over and over again. There's bro. a lot of non creative fucks in the world. Yes, it is. And Uh-oh, then out there, I bro, just 16 ounces ideas. of Casamigos in yeah. our apple juice prank. <laughs> Like y'all, y'all are dead ass. Y'all are y'all are like one phase away from just turning into Facebook content. Because on Facebook, it's nothing but like. Imagine us just having a conversation here, and I just go to this cam over here, and I'm just like, is it? Like I just pull up, like I'm about to pour this water on Dean, as if like he don't even know I'm right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. Well, matter of fact, is this 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 cam on me? Yeah. Oh, wait, I, on. I'm gonna do it. Yo, chill. Go. Hey, hey. I'm I'm gonna pour I'm gonna pour this water. What are you talking about? On Dean. Who's there? On, on Dean. Ha. Watch this. Like watch this. Watch this. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm chilling. Were you saying you're gonna pour water on me? Looking no, at the camera. Wait, what are you talking about, man? So nice hat, man. You wanna take it off for a second? Nah. You know? Nah. Why you want me to take it off? I'm just saying, man. Sheesh. <laughs> That's weird. Why? Are you- does this have anything to do with you saying you were going to pour water on me? Nah, man. I'm just drinking water, man. I might as well pour it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that over there? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll just dump the water. It's like, bro, come on, bro. Like, y'all y'all are acting like this, and it's so odd. And, but the material that y'all decide to use uh-huh. to get views, when y'all know for a fact, is children, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. Or they be like, oh, my God. It's so, shh, I'll be quiet. It's so basic. <laughs> And I'm literally just in the same room with this nigga. Lo, it, you seen your jean shorts? <laughs> no, man. I don't know where they're at, man. Have, have you seen them? No, I haven't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, you know I got to go to the airport. I know. Those are your favorite jean shorts. I know, man. I, I don't know where they're at. Who would take I, such a thing knowing you know, have to go to the crazy. airport? I'm mad right now. I ain't mad. I Uh-oh. am so mad. Uh-oh. I'm going to find out who has them, and I'm going to be upset at them. Lowe's turns his back. That's literally the whole video. Yeah. And it's like, you're fake that y'all It's so funny because people don't have to reinvent the wheel. It makes it so easy. Yeah. It makes it easy, it but I don't easy. know. I just don't know how you live with yourself knowing that you're just copying content from other people and it's not even copying good content. I mean, content I couldn't do it not forever. Good, and it's, bro. Not, it's not y'all good content. Y'all gaming a system that's working for you currently and you know that shit is okay, not going to last because you're not good. Do it for a little bit if you're starting up because I wouldn't reinvent the wheel because like, if you're small and you have creative ideas, the bigger people just take it. In that community, for sure. That that's yeah. probably the worst community. So I'll just if you're for small, sure. I'll just do don't reinvent the wheel. When you get your notoriety, now you'll be your uh, Isn't creative. That crazy self. though that that entire community is like that, that. That everyone is just openly stealing other people's ideas. And if you're a smaller creator, you have no other choice but yeah. to hold your good ideas until. But you know what's fucked up about that's that what community? I, I, I gotta hold that's the good crazy. ideas until I can do it. It should be that's wholesome crazy. in that like people are showing off like. Like important relationships. parts of their relationship yep. or parts that like would inspire people to have like healthy relationships. But in reality, it's people monetizing a relationship, making it seem like they have like 
Because that's what the appeal is. It's like, oh, my God, look at them. Goals, goals, goals. Yeah. Whole time, bro. Like, they They're might struggling. not even be together. They're just struggling. together for sure, for show, because that's what the fuck. Their, their AdSense relies on their ability to make those fucking pranks together. And that's the reason why people just question, like, the legitimacy. Like, there's there's no way. Like, I, I don't know. Unless y'all just view it as a hustle. But it's like, more than likely, y'all are just doing this because it's an opportunity for both of y'all to come up. And even if you split the, like, the, the revenue between both of y'all, it's probably going to be more than y'all would make anywhere else. So y'all just, y'all just doing this. Mainly, may, maybe if y'all do like each other, but it's definitely going to get to a point where the finances trump the relationship y'all have together. Because I just don't know how people get like, like, how can you get to that point where you're just faking content to that, to that extent? And you know, for a fact, you're, they're kids watching your channel, bro. The kids that clicked kids. on your playing with kitty prank. It's kids. Or and if it, and if it's not kids, it's like it's again, it's this lonely, lonely people who are trying to live by curiosity through you all and what like the the best moments of a relationship is. And now you got it'd be crazy. It's gonna be a generation of women growing up thinking that a relationship is like a YouTube prank. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they, I, I pranked you. We're in love, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what this is what they do. That's scary, actually. actually no, nah, that is. Actually, me saying that a lot is scary. So. so how do you feel about open relationships? Uh I don't know. I think that's it's tricky. You gotta you gotta communicate with the person you're in an open relationship with. Unlike Sneeko, he didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Why, John? How do you feel about open relationships? Mm. You just gotta communicate with the person. You thought about it? You thought we in an open relationship? Uh, never, never crossed my mind. What about would you? you would you do it though? Huh? Would you do it? No, I asked you questions. Would you? You, say? you come back to me. I said, "What about you?" No. Have you thought about it? No, I, I couldn't do that. Why not? Too selfish. I know. I, okay, how about this? Not you. Not both of y'all being in an open relationship. You dating someone that allows you to also have sex with other women. So a pool. A what? Pool. It only has one stairway, but the pool is closed on the other end. I guess so. See? Don't you lie! Yeah. I dare you to lie right now, John. You dare me to lie? You if you're me? in a relationship with a woman and she's okay with you dating or having sex with other women. Oh, that feel like a setup, don't it? It's not a setup. She's okay with it. Why would she be okay with it? That may, Maybe that turns her on. Me dicking down other bitches? Yep. It turns her on? I mean, if it, if it turns on, my goal is to pleasure my girl. So <laughs> if it turns, if, if, yeah. it tur- if, it, if, that, if that gets her going, what if what if what if, what if no? What if she's just like you know what? I'm I'm here. I'm okay with this. Just you know, be respectful, be responsible. I don't want to hear about it. Don't get in trouble. Don't get somebody else pregnant. Like that type of stuff. Like like how good that sounds. Even if it was true, like even if it wasn't true, like someone said that to me today, I would think they already cheated on me. So I'm gonna automatically get mad. But no, if it no, was no, no, true that you were saying that, yeah. like she actually genuinely means that yeah. from the bottom of her heart. For sure, John. From the Mar- Marachi trench of her heart. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. I, I, I never oh, thought that situation God. would happen. If it happens, I'll be confused, but that will never happen. I don't think so. Unless I'm... Would some, you like a situation a Would you like the situation, unless nigga? I'm a millionaire. Would you... Would you if, even if even if that's the contingency behind it, would you want... Would you seek that relationship? If you were a millionaire... Would yeah, you if I was a millionaire? That? Yeah, would you? If you financially just took care of her and all that stuff, and you're a millionaire, so it doesn't really hurt you. So she became an expense. Whatever you want to call it. That's basically what it is. She's a bill. Whatever. A bill that sucks me and fucks me. Because some, some, women, some women who put themselves in that relationship, they don't mind. Something wrong with your neck, agent? Your head drop. <laughs> uh, no, I'm stretching, bro. It's, it's been a long time. How you day feel? You kind of quiet. It's all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, you have been quiet. It's Hold on. Why are you making this about that? Let me hear you. Peer podcast Let me today. Scenario yeah. to, for both of y'all because yeah. I'm in a relationship. So with I'm not. I'm not answering this dumbass question. All right. So everybody me, single, right? Let me set it. No, not everybody. I'm fully committed in a relationship. <laughs> so <laughs> let me answer this question to both of y'all niggas. Okay. If you are in a, if you are in a relationship with a woman, the only contingency is is that you take care of her. Her value. She sees her value in the relationship with you based off of the fact that you are taking care of her monetarily. Now you can go out and do whatever you want. Just don't. You know, don't get caught. Don't do nothing crazy. Don't have a baby with nobody. Mm-hmm. But she's okay to be. She's willing to be ignorant to other things that are happening, or at least doesn't want to know about it. But she, she's accepting of the fact that you might be doing it, you might not. She just don't know, want to know about it. Are you doing that? Um, if it's convenient, yeah. I'm not going through like the, the fucking circle jerk. 
uh, circus that usually goes on okay. to go through that whole process. It's, 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 it's not always that convenient, especially if you have someone back at the crib. I imagine it's not. It's going to be even less convenient. So, what, you got to go to a hotel or something? Because you can't bring her back to the wait, house. Is she, oh, wait, wait, no. She said I could do whatever I want. Yeah, but not in front of her, bro. That's Why disrespectful, not? my brother. Bro, she if, said, if she so said you, you can fuck go, whoever, you're going to do it next door so she can hear y'all? I mean, you go to a hotel, you go to the other girl's house, I guess. Hey, yeah. who house is it? All right, John. I got to leave? Is that is that what she's going to do? Huh? You I'm said in that you. situation, all she wants from me is my money. So if I want to fuck she in my wants, house, She wants your money and she wants you to like attend to her like uh, affectionate wise. You can just do you, my money and you sex. Can, you, can, you can dick down anybody you want to, but just don't show does no she, affection Does she to love them. me? Yeah, she loves you. So she loves me. Yes. Oh, I thought she just wants my dick and money. I was about to say she no. She up. she wants your affection. She she loves your conversation. She knows all that, but she's just. I guess she just got got to the point where because I actually heard this from somebody. She got to the point where she just realized men are gonna cheat. So if you're gonna do that, that's fine. Just go do it. But just don't let me know. Don't get nobody pregnant, and that's fine. So don't tell her. Don't let nobody know, and just make sure she's stable. Yep. And she can live the lifestyle that she's living right yep. now. Yep. A lot of people doing that right now. I'm asking you, nigga. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yo, the podcast people, this portion of the podcast is brought to you by our good friends out there at Quips, man. Now, Quips is an amazing smart toothbrush. Simple mm. put. Smart technology has made our whole lives simpler and easier. But here's the thing with Quips. It's even better because you start to earn things for the things that you're supposed to do. In this case, brush your teeth. So, how does it work? Short and simple. Quips is a smart toothbrush that connects to Bluetooth and it gives you feedback on how you're brushing your teeth to make sure you improve in that area. Also, it tracks how often you brush your teeth and it makes sure that you're doing it in the moments when you need to. That's actually More importantly, very useful. Bro, this has been bare times where... I'm sorry to cut off your ad. There's been bare times, bro, where I was brushing my teeth but I ain't noticed I missed a spot until like, you know when you lick your teeth after and you catch some plaque? For sure. It's <laughs> because I ain't had a smart toothbrush, my brother. <laughs> and what's even crazy is what's crazy is the difference between quips is that actually rewards you for brushing your teeth and doing it correctly. Mm, Not only really that, yeah, it rewards you. It gives it you, pays me to brush. It actually gives you reward points that you can inevitably redeem and you get free gifts from brushing your teeth. No cap. Wow. <laughs> I have no stank breath and I get rewards. <laughs> yes, John. Oh my God. Yes. I had a couple girls need to send this to. <laughs> oh, guess what? Even if you have quips, they have various attachments that can customize to your teeth brushing experience. Mm. For example, if you want to travel, they do have a travel kit for you to make it easier to you go from point A to point B. And guess what? There's even more. Quips gives you add-ons to make your experience even better. For example, when you brush your teeth, guess what you got to have? Toothpaste, of course. So they give you some mint flavor or watermelon flavor toothpaste. Yes, and on top sir. of that, also for the people out there who like mouthwash, they give you refillable mouthwash as well. Interesting. That's refillable. innovative material right there, my brother. Refillable. Some people don't use one of them, but they get both. <laughs> now, who you be talking don't to on a regular company. basis? <laughs> Start getting rewards for brushing your teeth today. Go to getquip.com slash peer right now to save $10 on a Quip Smart Electric Toothbrush. That's $10 off a Smart Electric Toothbrush at getquip.com slash peer, spelled G-E-T-K-U-I-P dot com slash peer. Quip, the good habits company. Okay, you're right. You're asking me. You're making so um, many different comments. Uh, If that was the case. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. And you say yes as well, Jer Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Who would say no? Shut up, John. I'm being you, low. apparently, bro. Yeah. You went through like 18 different if and <laughs> statements before no, you agreed I'm, to I, it. I don't want people to think that I'm a bad person. When you put it like that, who would say no? Who would say no? Probably people who love their girl, bro. But she this she told me. <laughs> I'm just fucking with her. <laughs> she told me to do this, right? Uh, she didn't tell you to do it. She just said it's okay if you do it. So she's hurting in the inside. She not hurt. She just what if she would potentially hurt? Would you do it? No, if it's gonna potentially hurt it, I wouldn't do it. What if potentially you get caught? Like, the, but no, you you make sure you make sure you don't Yo, get caught. Just though. stop, stop. John came on this podcast the past like four or five pods, bro, talking about some yes. DTB. He named that random button over there called <laughs> "Fuck These Bitches." It is I the button. The on button on just says FTB. No, they don't John, touch stop it. Stop, stop, stop. We have no idea what that button does. <laughs> I don't. But it fucked these bitches though. <laughs> okay, so then John went from that zone right there to in this podcast talking about like, well, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I don't want to think about it like this, bro. I don't want her feelings by I fucking another I, girl, even though she's hey, saying it's okay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it bands with you. A lot of people been DM me asking me questions about girls. I'm just gonna say it right here, so I only got to keep responding, to niggas. Um, 
basically how I feel about it is, man, if you find that right girl, cherish her. There's not a lot of good ones out here. There's a lot of them that just want you for, like what you said, dick and money. Like, they'll act like they love you. But they just want you. They just want to live yeah, that right, lifestyle. Though, I mean, I'm, well, I'm not. They want to live that lifestyle. Without I know it's for. who's saying it, so man. They don't I know, I know, I know. Because I know. they're like in their mind, they're like, okay, he's gonna cheat anyway. He's an attractive man with a million dollars. I can only do so much. So if I allow him to do what he want to do, I can live my lifestyle, travel, take trips, flex on my old bitches that hated on me. I can have all these cars <laughs> and nice stuff. Live in the house, have good stuff. My kids will be taken care of. And he'll cheat and he won't feel bad about it or end up leaving me or me leave him and then what I get from it. You know what I'm saying? We're not married. You don't got no prenup. You don't get nothing. You just leave and go back to doing what you're doing. Yeah. Most of these bitches ain't doing it with the money anyway. They're just living. So if I did leave them, they don't got nothing to live with. So now they're trying to come back. It's like I can defeat all that by letting him do what he want to do. And I just be here for him so I can live my life. But it's like. that's what I'm, Everything you're saying is what I'm saying. Yeah. You say you'll be okay with that. Huh? You doing that. Uh, I that's not the preferred look. Loca- that's not about the first thing. I'd rather just have one girl because having too many girls is too it's too many issues. It's it's like stressful. It is also true. It's a lot of then you got jealous you girls. I know, I know, but stop. I, I know. Yeah, think stop. about it. For me, I'm saying that's true, but coming from this nigga, I know. I get. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's stressful. I have talking to a lot of girls at one time, but it's stressful, bro. It's, it's it makes your head hurt. And think about this. If this nigga girls, campaigning right before our eyes, girls, hey, this nigga going on a camp. Hey, hey, this nigga campaigning hey, right in front hey, of us, nigga. Hey, 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 real, real. Nigga, turn, is this something you need to nigga, tell us? Nigga, turn real presidential right before our eyes, nigga. Hey, no, not that I need to tell you, but I'm saying, in that situation, it sounds good, but I always, I'm a thinker. I always think a lot. Nigga, shut the fuck up, John. Hey, I'm, cut John's mic off. I'm, John, I'm, cut I'm your mic off. I'm a thinker, your mic off, John. I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. And what I mean is, when I say I be thinking, is like girls get jealous. So think about. If I'm messing with other girls, it's fun. But then think about other girls that want to have the other girl's place. Because it's like, I'm not fun in these other girls. Okay, we get that. But the point is that they can't take her place, though. Yeah. That's the point. They, they can't jealous, take her place. That, that's just, that's just, that's started problems. It's always going to be a problem, John. Yeah. John is kidding. What is he? No, no, no. The serious? way you made it sound like it's just good. You can do what you want to do and have fun. But I'm, not saying, I'm not saying there's obviously pros and cons to every, yeah, yeah. every decision you make. We didn't say the cons, saying, though. We okay, fine. You can highlight the cons, but um, at the end of the day, I'm saying, are the pros outweighing the cons enough for you to do that? That's no, what I'm asking. No, when you say it like that, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. It's not. Damn. Because I'm already spending money on one girl, and the other girl's gonna want stuff too. What if they don't want nothing? They, they just want. See, this is this is a fairy tale. <laughs> I, John, I'm when try- do you when do you think you're gonna settle down, bro? Like, huh? if, at what age? You whenever, I, whenever I find that right girl. I find that right girl. I'm so as soon down. as you find the right girl, you gonna settle down. As soon as I find the right girl, I'm gonna settle down. So even if it's like tomorrow, or even if it's in the next week, you're gonna. I mean, settle I wouldn't down. know she's the right girl tomorrow because I only knew her for 24 hours. No, I'm saying but you already knew her. If I already knew her, um, yeah. yeah. If it's tomorrow that I find the right girl and I already knew her, and this, then yeah, I'll I'll, I'll start praving the stones to settle down. What does like that mean? That. Huh? What does that mean? Start the process of selling down. Like, I'll order the What bricks. is that? But what does that mean? Well, though? I'll put the blueprint down, figure out what I'm about to build. Stop being so fucking vague, John. What is uh, the blueprint? When you when you start laying down the blueprint to start settling down, what, what entails in that blueprint? It tells in that blueprint, you you know. You know yeah. John is saying <laughs> keywords. Hey, he's, hey he's, John. Hey, he's I got this nigga. I got you today, nigga. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Hey, what does that entail? It entails. It entails. Um, repeat the question. Damn, he's got my guys. I laughed out. nigga, this nigga sweating like my yeah, You sweating like question. Bill Clinton, I'm my not, nigga. No sweat on me, boy. No sweat I on ask, me, boy. I ask you, when you start setting down the stones to okay. get in a relationship and yeah. settle down, All right. what does that process look like? All right. Uh, does that question contain any adjectives or verbs? It contains in- everything. It contains full sentences. Uh <laughs> Can I have the orientation? Of All the right, here you go. Here you go. There you go. Orientation. You looking, you looking mad sus right now, John. Okay, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Let me you try. look like we but, put um, you on trial. I know. What's going on? Um, I would. Uh, Nigga, flip the cancer your face real quick. Or you answer this question. <laughs> 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 hey, keep that camera on your face, nigga. Or you answer this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, what that details is if, if everything worked out, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> Like, <laughs> hey, I wish they could see low right now. <laughs> He's not doing nothing, man. Go answer the question. Right. Um, I forgot again. No. Okay, no, no. I bet. Ask me again so I can. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you again. Just the cameras for, on me. Let's go. Just for TikTok, so we can format this correctly. Okay, for TikTok, for TikTok. Go ahead. <laughs> when you're about to get in a relationship and you're 
putting in the process to start settling down. What does that process look like? Um, that, that means if I'm about to start selling down, I mean, I got to start cutting off all the old pieces. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. so okay. Cut that off. All right. Uh, Get close to the mic. When you mean start cutting them off, you mean like just cut them off right away or like slowly? Um, it depended how 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 in too deep I was with them. I gotta start, mm. cut off the weakest ones first, mm, and then okay. the strong ones you gotta break it off. You know what I'm saying? Break it off. Okay. Tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? What do you tell them exactly? Huh? It depends. It depends. It depends how deep. Like, cause it's like if I know I'm about to date, like if I'm about to take a girl seriously, then I'll just start lowering communication with the people. Okay. And then most of the time, mm. girls, if you don't, get I call it ghosting. I just ghost them. Yeah, you call you call it ghosting. You start lowering communication. Cause girls get signs. I just ghost. Or if uh, what's it called? If a girl um, if a girl uh, what's it called um, like they see you giving less affection, and they they care about you a lot. They'll keep asking you or keep doing it, but they don't care about you that much. They gonna they gonna stop communicating in general anyway. So they are gonna cut the moan cells off. They like, oh fuck this nigga. I got other options. Cause most girls got other options anyway. Okay. So you start slowing down. Somebody else gonna pick up. Okay. So that they cut that cuts off the weak links. Okay. The stronger ones that actually fuck with, then you don't have to get to the point where if this is getting serious with the other girl, okay, this is gonna have to stop. Uh I think this is not working out. Yep. Um, I'm about to go do my own thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Gotta so be, after, after you cut them all off, then then what does the rest of the blueprint look like? The rest like? of the blueprint. And then you got a mm. uh social media detox. I'm saying that's gonna be mm, the next thing. What does that mean? Well, yeah, bring like that clearing, down to us. Clearing that social, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, clearing course, that up, course. getting all that off. Now getting what off? You just you're saying you're very like very social. vague. I'm following you know I mean? like all the Instagram, like all the extra Instagram mall. Like you keep your friends and stuff like that, but all the extra booty and stuff, you don't need to see all that. Can't get rid of the extra booty, yes. Yeah. So yeah. you start then you start locking in on what you stuff. So you make yourself more busy. So then you probably in, in that detail. is actually that that is a fact. What it you is just said is a fact. I know you make yourself more busy because yes. like I'm not chasing girls no more. I don't have to go out no more. Like I got a girl, so I don't got to do too much. I know I can work, and I don't have to go out and find a girl. I got a girl, so I can work. And if I want something, call my girl, I'll do something with my girl, or if she's doing something, make myself more busy, make me more money. And then, then what's the rest of the blueprint look like, brother John? Uh, then just be faithful. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything mm. everything works out. Like if if something not working out, communication is a big thing with me. Communicate it. Let me know. Honesty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though, like, mm. I told you this the other day. Like, even though interview. if it's hard. What'd you tell me today? Uh, I didn't tell you that. I think I told Dean. What'd you tell but me? Honesty, man. Even though it, it may be hard to say in the moment, it's going to work in the long run. When did you tell me that? <laughs> you just, just weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you say that, nigga? Hey, wait, when you say that? When was that said? Uh, Yeah. So, that's how, that's how I, I agree with that being busy. You, if, the best way to really um best way to cut them out get focused is just to get, get busy. Bu- get busy. Get because busy like, on it. Once you start getting busy, it, only thing, only result. Why are you get, looking? Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, because I'm I'm staying fat. I'm speaking like an old nigga, but I'm a young nigga. That's why I get old bitches. Yeah, you can't say that after following up this whole concept of settling. You down. killed the job interview too. You just said that right yeah. there. Nah, nah, I didn't. So I, I get bitches. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Old what? Ones, but, specifically. But yeah, think about it like this, man. Mm. Tell me, John. Um. Which is uh, crazy that most of our audience... Bro, we got to move that light, dog. I need to be able to see John. No cap. I was like that for literally months. I don't give a fuck what she was like. <laughs> I was like that for months. I don't give a fuck what she was like. Look, finally see me now. Yeah, I know. Uh, Yo, let's switch spots for this, part, for this podcast. Nigga, let him finish what you about to say. John, finish what you about to say, bro. Uh, what we talking about? You what about she to, was about to say. You about to give us a little bit more sauce real quick. Oh, about uh, selling out. Yeah, you make yourself more busy. And when you make yourself more busy, you're not focused on the stuff. And I, I guarantee... If you find something to do, it's always something for you to do. You just don't do it. You procrastinate or you're looking for bitch. I mean, females. Like, you're looking for a next move or a party. Hey, you or should something. add to your blueprint. Just refer to them as women. Yeah, women. Add, you know what I'm saying? Add that to your blueprint. I should bro. already on your blueprint. I told y'all to stop calling women bitches, bro. I, I've been telling you. time it makes sense, bro, uh, is after a boogie album drops. I've been told y'all to um, stop saying that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my bad for just happening. True, bro. Um, but, uh,. <laughs> What the fuck am I getting from John today? It's Sounds not, like role playing somebody today. Yeah, I know. On this podcast. And he's doing a, 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 a like a seedless job at it too, nigga. <laughs> um, you can convince some some randos, but nigga, we know. Nah, nah, nah. But look, look, look. I always, I'm a fun guy. You know what I'm saying? When I'm single, I don't got no ties. I don't got to do nothing with nobody. But it, like, if I ever do settle down, I haven't been settled down since like, high school. So, so you ain't a, never been settled down. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. No, high school, I settled down, down for a school. good little minute. Um, you ain't never settled down. If you settled down since high school, you never settled down. Huh? 
You never settled no, down. No, but I actually did treat it well. Like I didn't cheat. I didn't do nothing. I was settling down means that you are disconnecting options. And at high school, you don't really have options like that. So. I had, nigga, I had options. I'm talking about like options. <laughs> I options, didn't have nigga. options. I had options. No, I'm talking about <laughs> options, nigga. Like when you when you go out somewhere and you can just you know you feel confident that you can at least go home with like somebody. Yeah, I'm talking about that 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 level of options, not. Samantha in second period. And I'm talking about like you can just go anywhere and that you can probably lead to something. That's what um, I'm talking about. But yeah, when you get busy, you stop doing that. Like, uh, you start doing stuff with her, you start doing stuff you never really do. It dep- but it, that girl got to be compatible with you. And like for me, I need a girl that's busy too. Because if she's too clingy, I don't think I, I like clingy, but I don't like too, not too clingy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Where she don't got nothing else going on. I can't wait till we get. In, I can't wait till you get in a relationship, so I can then re-ask you the question: What's your top five things you look for? Yeah, watch, watch. When I get in a relationship, you're gonna see a different John. You're like, dang. I know, I know, I am, and and but I know what you were going to require in that relationship is going to be different than the five things that you said. What I say? I can't remember, but it was very superficial, surface uh-huh. level. I don't remember what I said either. So I, we both on the same boat. Reason why we talk about relationships though is because I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Every single time we go into the Zoom calls or some of the people. Like in the comment section, some people say they get Bro, tired. I can't of find a comfortable way to sit. Fuck. Some people say they get tired of the um, relationship talk, but some of y'all like dead ass want like. Oh, this is way better. Some of y'all dead ass like want help. Y'all want help like talking to women and stuff like that. I find that very interesting. This is spectacular. If you just move that, bro, there's so much space back here. I'm chilling. All right, oh. keep going, bro. I just found me a new comfortable podcast position. Um. So yeah, John, that, I, that's very insightful, man. I'm, I'm happy you said that. Thank for you, the John. Kids, man. Yeah, the young, the young brother, king. John. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to the kings, you know what I'm saying? Have fun while you're young, you know what I'm saying? Have fun. Like have, do you have your say, do all find that. Find yourself. Find yourself, Kings. Find yourself. You know you're only you only young for a minute. Like Lowe's old as fuck. So you know what I'm saying? He's forty five King. speaking on this. King. I'm, you kings know what I'm find you know, like, yourself. Find pussy. yourself. Go ahead. Find yourself in some way and have fun. Make your money. Then when you get older, you get it all out your system. Because if you work so hard now, you're not gonna have that out your system. Cause like you realize when celebrities they be having so much fun and they finally settle down like in, like midway through their career. But a lot of a lot of times that happens because in the beginning they they don't know how to adjust to the new celebrity. Yeah, they just having fun. They, like once you get your, once you get once you get your shit popping, it's going you gonna open up a whole level of new stuff. I think that's part of it, but I also think that there's you a, never get your shit popping and shit never gonna change for you, my brother. I know, but what, <laughs> but what I'm making is that you have you have to really understand how to balance stardom or balance your your schedule. Yeah. Before you get into a relationship, yeah. and I think most people who get in that first in the stardom, they don't know how to they don't know how to balance that. You went from having seven girls to twenty girls, and your no, phone. I'm talking about your schedule. You went from just oh. doing like one or two things, like for example, you did one one movie or two movies, and then all of a sudden you start doing three or four, and like that's that you never had that happen before. So it doesn't matter about how you balance it in terms of women or family or dieting or extra time to meditate and pray and stuff like that. Like all that stuff you have to learn how to now balance within that before you get to now trying to learn how to balance a, a woman that you're in a relationship with alongside balancing your schedule. You need to understand how to balance your schedule first. So old guys are like you, what advice do you give to us young people about cutting girls off? What's the best way to cut a girl off? How do you how did you cut girls off, yeah. Marcel? I never been. This is my first serious relationship, so I never really got into serious relationships. Before. I'm saying, how, how you did cut you cut off the girls when you got into this relationship? Oh, you didn't have any before that. Oh, oh I just, <laughs> just John, I, 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 I so already. I hold on, hold on. He just tried. No, no, no. Stop you trying, said, myself, you please. Said, you didn't start with another side. You probably had a blank slate. No, I said, I said I hadn't been on a serious relationship, but before before this, it was like, um, I a ghosted, and b the ones that may have been a bit more serious. I just told them like, yeah, this is like I'm not. Like, don't contact me or like, because I'm doing something serious right now. Like, I'm in a serious relationship. And some numbers you, I had to just, some you numbers. Like, you in the serious relationship? Say it again? You told them when you're in the serious relationship? I already, yeah. Even if I wasn't at that time, I still just told them I'm in one. And so some women, I just blocked their phone numbers. No cap. I just block, block their phone numbers. That's petty, though. So you don't tell them, you just block them? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the, the ones I ghost, it really wasn't that much to ghost because we probably didn't have... Consistent communication. But the but what ones would you that do you were serious with, what would the you ones do? I was serious with, block. I ended up I blocked them just off of the potential of them trying, like trying me. I just blocked them. Trying you how? Like texting me in the, while I'm in a relationship. Get like, mad trying to tempt me. Just no, just try trying to tempt, to tempt me. you. Yeah. 
So, so uh, uh, you're old, low, so you might have some expertise and some wisdom. And they, and wait, let me be clear. They might not have. They could possibly didn't ever text me. I would never know, though, but they might, might or not have. All right. So did, did you thing delete? The young people do is just block them. Did you That's delete the nudes, Marcel, of, of the old girls, bro? Yeah. You deleted them? Yep. On your own or by instruction? It was never really needed for instruction. Oh, you just did it on your own? It was them all. all right. so I'm just trying for the young people. You know what I'm saying? They just want, like, older wisdom. <laughs> um, and you're so wise And I like your fresh cut I don't think we acknowledge it today Yeah I we like, did like man cut. That's a fresh cut My fresh cut man But all, all I'm saying is Makes you look five years younger I'm I'm serious when I say fi- Yo Find yourself Dead ass That's, that's very mm. important And that goes beyond Just mm. women Like even like What you wanna do in life How you, right. how you wanna mm. live life mm. Your purpose in life Is all important When you move forward find Move yourself. forward How do they move forward Lo? Explain that to Explain us. Break that, to that down with Break all your wisdom. Um, I say try try things. Mm. Don't be afraid to try things. Don't mm. be afraid to fail. Um, live. Try to live with very very few regrets, if any. Mm. Um, and and going out and just experience things that you believe that you're going to like. Because mm. I think wow. I think what happens most of the time is that people probably get to a stage in their life and they're like they wish that they had did you're right. Some of the you're things, right. You're and right. They just never even experienced, or they're afraid of failure. And what, what happens is they don't really realize is that the only way that you're going to even They're succeed unaware. at something is if you fail at it at some point to learn wow. from it to continue wow. to succeed. So how do you cope with fear, though, for the young people? Drop some wisdom on the young people. Drop some wisdom for them. You great turtle. I think when I was younger, I... Uh, <laughs> you great turtle. I think when I was younger, the way I, held, I dealt with fear was very passive. Like, I was, like, very... Like avoiding it until I found a very like a strategic way to like deal with it. Mm. Um, mm. But now I feel like I, I I feel much more confident dealing with it head on. Part of that could just because like financially, if I fail, I don't. It's not as much of a blow to me mm. because I can bounce back easier than what I did before. So that may be it. But now earlier you mentioned you made tens of thousands a month. Do you have like an exact number? Yeah, it depends on which. Um, made tens. What's of the average though? It depends on which month, man. Mm. An average doesn't depend on which month. It depends on what I'm doing. With, with Twitch and... No, no, no. That, just that overall, spot, bro. That Twitch and Spotify deal alone is like... I'm just o- talking about over overall. 10, over 10 bands. Okay. So then Twitch and Spotify is over 10 bands That's a month. over 10 bands a month. Now, mm. that doesn't even include YouTube, which is over another 10 bands, right? Yeah, so... Mm. so that's at least 20 now. We're getting into the 20 range, John. We almost... 20 a month. You could be in the 50s. Now, if we give you a, a generous, 20- I don't, but every every month isn't ten though, so let me clear that. I do okay, have so let's slip, but you know, blow, John, blow let me pull out my handy dandy calculator, man. You know what I'm saying, and, and get and to also, and also, and also, and also, and also, Spotify, my 20, Spotify and Twitch isn't um, monthly as well. It just depends on twenty thousand times yeah. twelve. So low makes I ain't gonna lie, this around month, like two hundred forty thousand dollars a year. Wow. And that's that's on just what we've been told so far because there could be more. Dang, I mean, you haven't even you, did, did the podcast is playback, so you could be making. Got, I can't hold got, my pants. Hey, up all these racks. On this nigga, this nigga pisses me off. He knows that I have not touched a dime in 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 podcast money, so he's just throwing this shit in as if like oh, I've spent that money before. <laughs> I can't yeah, hold my don't. pants up because all these racks in them. Mm. Mm. Oh. But I, I do. I, I'm very serious to the, to my kings. I did. You know, learn things. And you said how to deal with fear. When I was younger, yeah, I did avoid it a lot. Now, mm-hmm. I just, I, I try to, um, I attack it head on. Maybe not mm-hmm. head on, but I definitely, like, head try to, fear. like, deal with it as soon as possible. Because yeah. I know for a fact, like, I'm going to fail. So, it's fine if I fail. I just need to figure out how to, su- how to like, fix my failure. So, when it's time for me to succeed, it is. I, I say this all the time. Like, there's going to be a moment in your life where, like, the moment is there. So you need to just prep yourself for that moment when it happens. Mm. And so a lot of times for YouTubers, it's like the moment of like you gain a lot of momentum and dealing with uploading consistently. and But all that stuff, uploading consistently, uploading quality content so people can continue to come back and, and stay. Mm. But all of that came from your understanding of how to upload consistently, upload um, great content, how to brainstorm for great content. All that came from the... Days, weeks, months, and years of failing before that. So you have mm. to be a, you have to be prepared to fail. Um, thank you, thank you. Even the whole the whole thing with Twitch right now is like I've failed a lot in these like first like two or three months, but everything is building up for this event that I got going on on Saturday between you know. Why Rose. did you not invite me to that? Let's talk about that. 
I completely forgot about your new cat. So, all right. Live on the podcast. Next time, I forget to invite Lo, and he tries to make y'all feel like Yo, I'm a but nigga, person. you forget no, numerous no. times. Lo had a whole event. He knows the MyGM legend himself was oh, literally Jesus his Christ. podcast co-host and invited everybody but me. You want to be in it? No, not anymore, no, bro. I'm say, did you want to? Yes, but not anymore, bitch. We, we can squeeze the spot. No, it's too late, bro. It's too fucking late. Really, he told me he told me you were busy, so. Who? You did. I'm always busy. Exactly. That's what you say. You're too busy for it. Nah, I'm not too busy to outdraft you. Nah, old nigga. head. <laughs> um, but yeah, like even the whole event I got on um on Saturday. Well, you know, Los Rage, Clicks, B Souls, and myself. We're doing a fantasy draft on uh on Twitch, 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, September 25th. Fuck your stream. Um, I've been failing like over the past like couple of weeks. I'm cheering for I'm cheering for everybody but you, bro. Oh wow! Over the past couple of I weeks, I think Los is gonna draft a better. I'm team about to start streaming no, soon. Get ready, he about to be Stop, crazy. Shut the fuck up. I'm about to set this whole Twitch on fire. Over over the past over the past couple of um over the past couple of weeks, I've been trying <laughs> like streaming, test John? streams. I've been I've been doing like test streams and shit like right. that. So I've been Just doing test streams. Wait on it, man. Just wait on it. You're not going to stream, John. Yeah, I, have I said to know that 100k. I said 100k. I'm streaming. When? Whenever it hit. When it hit 100k, I'm start streaming. I oh, got, whenever you're on channel here, yeah, I, I, I got, I got a. Hey, where's that at? What's up there on that? Ninety-eight thousand. So I like. Nigga, yeah. get John to hundred K. And you know, Ray just hit a mill. He just just hit a mill. I mean, like a couple hours ago. You're behind. Wired I saw that. Bro. I saw Kai post it. Oh, you not? I thought you were YRG. Yeah, I thought he's YRG because I, I knew that crazy. shit. I knew that shit before the pod. You got the group chat on mute. I mean, I'm, I'm in on uh, what's going But now I'm about to start when I start Twitch stream, but it's gonna be crazy. I got so many ideas. Nigga, everybody, shut the fuck up, bro. Rage hit a million, my nigga. Such an inspiration. One of the greatest content creators mm. that has ever touched on the internet. Ooh, I should, should have Tiana no Trump cap. and Oprah Winfrey oil fight in a bubble bath. What? How many views that gonna get? Shout out to my nigga Rage, bro. You just like, ignored the shit out of you. Ignore the soul out of you. Shout out to my nigga Rage, bro. Such an inspiration, bro. Now, he is one of the most entertaining people on... On the internet. All of Twitch. No, on the internet. I mean, I haven't been everywhere on the internet, bro. I've been on Twitch, It don't Twitch, matter. Though. He is. Don't worry about it. I said it. It's a fact. Okay. I mean, he might not even be wrong about that. He's definitely the most entertaining person on Twitch now that Dr. Disrespect left. Dr. Disrespect is the most entertaining person on YouTube. Um, and so that's some steep competition, man. He's a great guy. One mil. Came from, you know, he started as a Soluminati plug channel. You know how talented you had to be to go from a plug channel to a million subscribers on your own shit? And one of the biggest streamers on Twitch still not verified on that site? That's crazy. That is insane. So he's he's reacting to his old old uh, videos. Yeah. I'm going to go back and watch some stream clips after we're done here. We got to write this. I'm going to start crying. No, you're you're two hours late, my brother. He already <laughs> I'm about to start crying. No, you're cat. so late. You're so I'm late. Too, I- <sighs> you're not YRG neither. Bro, come on. We just got to switch it up, bro. Imagine Lo crying like that, <laughs> gripping his face <laughs> like a football. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this nigga's done for the game, bro? What he do, man? That nigga changed, bro. That nigga changed a lot of shit for us, nigga. Oh, for who? For us, bro. Stop acting like that shit, bro. I don't see no tears coming down. Come on, wiping that motherfucker on, on my fingers, bro. You sound like you choked on a kazoo. <laughs> Bro, shout out to Rage, bro. Amazing content creator, bro. True. That's fast. True, that's very true. Not nah, for real, congratulations. That that's one talented dude, and he's a really, really good person. Um, and that's 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 so cause when someone blows up, you think to yourself, like, damn, if he's a horrible person, he's just gonna bestow destruction on everyone in his path. That's yeah. a bad look. So anytime somebody blows up or has success and they're good people, it makes me happy, man, because it's going to be the opposite effect. They're going to have a very positive impact on everyone around them and in their path. So that makes me happy. I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for him uh, because, you know, I, when I made the transition to Twitch or at least start streaming a little bit more, he's one of the very few people who, um you know, show me a lot of love. Him, Los, um, TK, a few other people as well, but like, you know, uh, I, I definitely appreciate it for sure, uh, Young King, and keep keep on the success and the grinding and shit like that, and things and of that nature. Things of that nature. Yeah. And it is like you said, it is very impressive to see someone transition as much as he has because he he, he, tra- he transitioned a lot. So, uh, and the fact that like 
I, we know I like we were talking about this earlier with the whole Nick Briz situation. Like we don't even watch the regular content no more. I I would actually prefer to watch that nigga react to something that I could just be watching on my own. Like, That's crazy. Like I I I much rather just listen to his commentary on it or the way he laughs and the jokes that he says. And what's also crazy that he doesn't even have a face cam. He is it's just legit audio. It's just an audio adventure with that nigga, and it is still amazing. He should actually get into voice acting, no cap. Yeah, he would body yeah. He would he would body voice acting. How animated his voice is, how he's been able to like how he perfectly projects himself, it capitulates. Yeah, don't don't get me started. And bro. you're on his voice dick. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Huh? Yeah, but today is so such a talent. Today at the AMP house, uh Davis saw Phantom walking and he's like, yo, Phantom has like no structure. He's basically saying like Phantom has like no fat on his ass. Into which I thought that's a weird criticism. And then from across the house, because Phantom was walking away when he said this, Phantom said, Get off my ass, dick. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Like, if a nigga tell me my dick. ass has no structure, that already, nigga, I don't want to hear nothing from you for the rest of the day, my nigga. Get off my ass, dick. Don't tell me my don't ass no ain't got no structure. Yeah, any any kind of words for rage? Um, uh, John? I got so many mosquito bites. I'm sorry, I've been scratching myself. I'm not on drugs, guys. I literally got bare mosquito You're bites. You're on drugs and you scratching your ankles. Oh, nah, you know you... people like scratch their fucking skin. I know, but your ankle specifically. So uh, yeah, my you whole. Odd. Yeah, you odd. That's, that's you odd. You odd <laughs> Yo, um, John, any any kind of words for rage, bro? We celebrate kings around here. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, I'm a million. You know what I'm saying? I just got I just got into. Well, I knew I knew of rage before, but I wasn't really into Twitch until after I met you guys. I thought my AMP, I realized what Rage was. He used to react to videos. Yeah. And then my brother watched him a lot, too. Uh, but I didn't know I was Rage. He used to watch Rage and Corey Kenshin. They Corey, do- that's another legend. Yeah. Shout out to Corey Kenshin. You know, I've never watched a video from him. I'm yeah, my, my brother used to play it all the time. Never? No, never. And I didn't know. And he had nigga numbers. It's crazy. Yeah. Know. Shout, out to, shout out to you, Ken. I didn't know that um, they was that person because Rage just had his voice. Yeah. So I never knew what he looked like. Um, but I always heard his voice in my house. So it's like. Congratulations to a million. That's a, that's a big accomplishment, man. So YRG, big. keep going up low. You know what I'm saying? You're part of a big movement right now. And, you He's know, not in YRG. I, I, think, I, think, I think Rage for really taking me under his wing, keeping me in the, in the YRG. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I definitely... Is there room in that clip today and get you disowned? Is there room? Huh? Oh, there's always room. You know, you got to make sure you do what you're supposed to do, right? But it's always room, bro. Yo, before uh, your guys' stream is on Saturday? Yeah. I'm gonna send Rage the footage. I'm gonna slip him the footage anonymously of you just. It's not anonymously YRG. if you say it right now. <laughs> no, nah, but he won't know. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna email it to him. I'm gonna send it. I'm like, this is low disowning YRG, and he's gonna just he's gonna bamboozle you with the footage um, when when you, when he pulls up that on you. That footage does not exist. Okay. Okay. They don't. NFL Street Two video was canceled. We uploaded it on page on AMP exclusive. Also, we have a Patreon. I can't believe I forgot that in the Where's in the, the intro. best place to buy roses? Um, Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? John's in love, bro. John, you I, know yeah, say, I don't know if y'all niggas are telling Because you don't just buy that. roses, bro. Yeah. You don't just buy those, bro. Huh? You know, you are just, just pro tip. I don't have moms? Pro, pro tip. Uh, you could you could have just said your mom. I, I mean, but pro, I pro, tip, pro tip, they do have, they have, um, <laughs> yeah, they have a chance. delivery... They have a delivery um delivery uh feature. Not feature. They have uh there's a company that delivers on Uber Eats. It's um, called Flowers. It's called what? I don't know what it's what they're called. Yeah, but, but I've, the, I've that ed- company edible, though? Arra- edible arrangements are not it. Yeah, yeah. It's that's not, not it. no no no, I'm not talking about it's, it's actual flowers. So edible, like you, you wouldn't do edible arrangements? Nah, I would I'm talking about actual flowers. Like not not they have actual flowers. flowers too. No, well, I'm not talking about edible arrangements though. It's another company. Oh. That shit is corny. Flowers are corny? No edible arrangements. It tastes oh. good. It's fruit and and yeah, it is just fruit technically. Uh, like, no dip strawberries. No, bro. I don't eat those, but I think just go to Kroger and get that cheap five dollar set, my brother. Get your queen that cheap five dollar Kroger flour, my brother. Yeah. Actually, technically speaking, that's not it. Actually, technically <laughs> speaking, there's multiple um flour companies on Uber Eats. You can just order from there. So then, floral floral masters is one. Where did you get these? I Uber Eats it to the house. <laughs> Uber Eats it, yeah. I need the hand. I need a. I, I need like a, a five, a five. 
Wow. I, I've done I've done a floor I've done I've done Uber Eats before. They, Honestly, it's bro, really good quality. No, okay. you need to get her. Really you need to get her like a plant, my brother. Not, fuck a so flower. How much of roses go for it? I know I'm not getting. It scammed. depends on it depends on how many you get. It depends on what color. Only four of them. What? Two dozen. Yeah, two. They dozen. white or red. Blood red. No <laughs> merit. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why Is those that? Can, those can go for like eighty to like eighty one fifty. <laughs> Put some flop. I could plant them bitches. <laughs> you go from eighty to one fifty. John, I'm not letting you spend that kind of money on flowers, bro. It's, eighty to one fifty. It's too dumb. On a low end, maybe fifty, but like. How about for less though? What if he wants to get six roses? I've never heard of six roses. <laughs> it's a dozen. It's, it's normally a dozen. It's so a a do, two dozen gonna run me one fifty at the most. Is your probably at the most? That's for quality. See, this, this right here is. Let me see. Yeah, this, low, man. this is 100, 150. It's called Heart and Soul Premium. Yeah, I gotta make sure my mom gets the best things. Of course, I love her. Your mom loves flowers. She loves flowers. Wow. Okay. I gotta take her out to eat too. What is her birthday? Every day is her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> every, every, every day is her birthday. Man. Come on now. Yeah, these, these, are, these are these are two yeah two two dozen one hundred and one hundred forty nine dollars. Hundred huh? One hundred forty nine. Look. <laughs> okay. Let me see those. Oh shit. If that's 149, I'm suing. Damn. And how long does that last? Wait, it's last 149 before? plus delivery. That's delivery yeah, included. Yeah, plus delivery. So delivery is included with the 149. No, so no, 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 I don't, I don't think so. I can do it right now, though. But it's Uber. Just get your Uber Eats pass, bro. Or just up pass or something. Are they on DoorDash? I don't know if they're on DoorDash. 99 cents for delivery. So it's not. Oh. Crazy. So delivery is basically included in that price. Hey, here's what I'll say, though, John. Yeah. That's real. That's fantastic what you're doing for your mother. Yeah, she would be so happy to receive these flowers. Go Why on is, is your mother's birthday for real? Hmm? Is your mother's birthday? Because my mom's birthday is on the 29th So no, you know I love doing. Well, well, what is it then? Huh? What is it? This is this is a special day. What is a special day? Why is it special? Huh? Why is the day special? She woke up this morning. So you do it every morning? Huh? You do it every morning? No, but it's, this is a great. It's a great day. Cause this is a, this is a, this is a day. The 21st day of the 21st year of the 21st century. Monumentous. So I, I thought no, it's not anymore. It's the twenty second. It was. So you're two days late. No, you are. You'll be twenty third when she gets it at the earliest. No, no, no. But we we experienced that moment, and I was, she was like, "Oh, what y'all do that day? Huh? What y'all do? We we enjoyed each other's company. We watched Walking Dead season ten. Mm. Any more questions, so she, attorney? So she, I'm just asking. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out what warrants two dozen roses, 150 bucks. Yeah, that's you doing. That's how you giving it up now? Huh? That's how you giving it up? You know, you know, Peter Peer looks out for me. <laughs> this nigga <laughs> asked for 150 bonus. Yeah, I'm firing this nigga. No <laughs> cap. <laughs> for flowers specifically. No, you're getting fired. Now that's great, though. I'm happy for your mom, man. She yeah, deserves man. it. She's gonna love that. Yeah. For sure, for sure, sure. for sure. <laughs> don't buy, don't buy flowers, John. Huh? Yeah, please, please, please do something them. else with your money. Unless, unless buy, if only buy them when you Wait, are should I buy seriously two in a dozen relationship. Real ones or a hundred fake ones? Actually, a hundred fake ones are better. Fake roses, fake plants in general are just better. No, it's not. How? Because you quality. can't smell them. You don't smell. Roses. I can spray it with you don't roses. Smell roses, bro. You smell plants, dog. I mean, my bad. Roses. You don't smell I, roses. Can bro, I smell? You, you smell a fucking plant. That's what you I buy. Smell, I smell roses. You don't smell roses. Are not a, a plant to sniff. That's not a flower to can sniff. Can I spray them with rose spray? The hmm? fake ones with rose spray, so they smell like roses. Roses don't smell good. Roses, the brother, they're plants, dog. Roses plants? don't smell good. It's not about whether they smell good. They smell alive, like a live thing. Okay. Then what about? Well, I get some grass and put it in the vase with the roses so it smells like living things. Also, hey. also the thing I got for um for Tiro on Valentine's Day is like a uh, a teddy bear that's like uh like built out of roses. Real roses? No, fake roses. So oh. she can just keep it all the time. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually kind of sad to give someone a flower because the flower dies. That's why. That's why you buy a fake. But it just it just or it you just, just a, buy a plant. What the fuck is wrong with you? Or you buy a that's plant? That's crazy because that's. Spend one hundred fifty dollars. They ain't gonna see it the Tuesday. Yeah, they will. What? They're roses. It's just literally just a moment. You could buy her an experience. They last man. a week. Yes. What? How long they last? A week is pushing it low key, bro. No, they're not. They start to sag by a week, bro. Oh, and if they start sagging, you pull them out. You just cut the ends and you put them back in. and They rehydrate. And they'll pop back up. 
Bro, Lil knows nothing about flowers. Don't let him I lie literally, to you. I literally worked. You're a florist? I literally worked in the fucking garden center for years. You literally can do that. No, he so don't, he, and, last, and I bought and I bought uh, T some uh, flowers for our anniversary. You can do the same thing. You just make sure you keep cold that? water. Uh, two months ago. Like what day though? Which one? Ooh, which one? The one year anniversary. I feel like the yoga one is- the one year anniversary for us being in a relationship was it August twenty seventh. Mm. I'm being no not a serious relationship. When we were serious when okay. we, were, we were officially girlfriend and boyfriend. August twenty seventh. The first time we met was uh, June second. Damn, I feel like roses down. are so cliche. Yeah. I feel like an exotic plant may hit different. Go to a florist shop and get some some crazy. Those are more expensive. Roses, roses are not. Roses can be more expensive, but the reason why they're not as expensive for the amount that they give you is because how how common they are. They just they just plant roses. Oh, and roses are very durable plants. What about tulips? Those are flimsy <laughs> flowers, so most of the time they um they. Man, you don't know shit money. about plants, bro. Oh, you don't have plant knowledge. Stop. What I know it's a plant that releases pheromones. What are you trying to poison her? No, Wait, this for your mom. What's going on, dog? Huh? <laughs> this for no. your mom? It released. Whoa, no. nigga! <laughs> yeah, nah, John. John, no, nigga. No, no it John, released pheromones John, to make you don't feel happy. Dare. You let me finish. <laughs> you never let me finish. <laughs> Trying to get your mom high on pheromones is a wild no, it, fucking it, gift, it makes nigga. You, it makes you happy <laughs> just for waking up in the morning. That's a wild <laughs> gift. My uh, nigga. Thankful you woke up today, mom. And get some pheromones in your system. Like if she's feeling sad. She'll smell the roses and it'll give her an uplifting spirit. That's not what pheromones do, John. <laughs> she's gonna be she's gonna be happy for something, all right, nigga. <laughs> You're trying to get your mom on pheromones. <laughs> I thought pheromones is a smell that secretes through the skin of any animal or organism. You know what pheromones are, John. I ain't gotta explain to you that, nigga. Secreting scents. John, you're hilarious. Let me see something. We're going to end the podcast on this. What is the definition of pheromone? I've been searched that up. Pheromones are substances which are secreted to the outside by an individual and received by a second individual of the same species. Many examples exist, but their role in humans remains uncertain since adults have no functioning vomeronasal organ, which possesses pheromone signals in animals. What do pheromones do to humans? They induce activity in other individuals, such as sexual arousal. <laughs> All right, John. You got it, no, 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 no. I Googled it. Hey, John. I Googled it. I Googled hey, John, it. You I Googled it. it. I Googled it. I Googled it. I Googled it. That's what you get my dudes. I Googled it. I Googled it. That's what you get my dudes, John. 10 best indoor plants for happier, healthier homes. Nigga, that's not what we asked, huh? nigga. We he said it literally induces certain. I used the wrong word, but I mean it's a plant that makes no, you, you feel did. happy. No, you did, no, you did, nigga. I explained what I meant. I just used the wrong word. I thought pheromones were anything secreted. They are, but what what does it do though? Huh? What is that's it? That's what do I'm though? saying to make her happy. That's why I go to a florist shop to figure out what's the best plant for that. Yeah. This nigga, this this nigga says sexual activity. What's up with you, dog? That that's a definition, but <laughs> I said I used the wrong word, but you know the meaning. That I used to, I was aiming for. No, I actually don't. I actually don't. I've hey. never heard anybody say I'm trying to get my mom some pheromones. I've never heard that <laughs> nigga. I said the plants. Hey man. He's gonna get us some roses. Fuck it. <laughs> John, in all seriousness, don't, don't, don't buy don't buy two dozen roses, John. Roses huh? is like when you fuck up though, ain't it? Or it's or it's a special event. You wanna just get an everyday flowers. <laughs> ain't it? Not really, no. Because <laughs> some people buy white um, roses for like weddings. It yeah, depends on what it is. All, right. all vacations. Oh, um, it didn't no, no. It's not for fucking up. Not for fucking up. No, it's not for fucking. So up. what flowers for fucking up? I don't know, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Roses are black not roses. Dust. Black roses are death. That's a sign of death. Damn. <laughs> what the? Hell? Yeah, you fucked up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You fucked your life up. Now you don't got one. <laughs> Someone gives you two dozen black roses. Yeah. That's a lot of black roses. No, death is coming soon. <laughs> Buy if you if you. I'm gonna say this, John. If you're going to do it for what, someone sent you tw- a dozen, two dozen black roses said, "See you soon." Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Too low. That's crazy. <laughs> See you soon. If if honestly, John, if you're gonna buy roses, I I highly suggest buy fake roses, and they, and they do have certain like fragrance that that'll 
bring out that smells good. Not well, like there's something about a live plant that smells good. And, and it's going to smell bad if you don't take care of it in two weeks. Bro, nobody takes care of plants. They just, I mean, flowers, they just let them die. So one week is going to start smelling bad, like really bad, like throw away bad. Yeah, yeah. and you throw it away. I'm like, where my roses at? Throw them away. They stink. Hey, man, you're just talking to your resident florist here. You know, you just worked at Walmart. Hope I inspired you section. get tea some roses too, right, Lo? I'm a I, I just sat there and said I got so for our anniversary. But every day is a great day, right? True. Don't you deserve roses every day? No, we like we gotta take we gonna take <laughs> care of the flowers, right? Because if we don't, they'll start stinking up the whole house. You tell that. Say, I've never I met a roses. person that took care of flowers. All you gotta do is just cut this the bottom part of it. That's literally all every you time, do. like once a week. Amputating the flower is taking care of it because what it does it cuts off the dead cells at the end of it that's been soaking up in water and it just revitalizes it. It's the same way that you you can see people who um who does experiments with it where they like put cutting like, your toenails. You they'll put they'll put back. dye they'll put dye into the um to the water and you can literally see how it just takes the water. Interesting. Literally. Interesting. Mm-hmm. But you know you know me I'm just garden center for life and things of that nature and things of that nature. Of course, of course. Of Yo, course. shout out to my podcast people out there rocking with us strong for another episode of Peer Peer Podcast. Man, any final words, Agent? <laughs> any final words, John? What do Bro, we thank y'all so much for continuing to support us on our audio adventures every uh, every Monday and Thursday for y'all. For us, it's Sunday and Wednesday. I was going to mess up for a second. And um, we'll, we will catch y'all next time. Shout out to all my YouTube people out there. Make sure you hit the notification bell when you get done watching this video to join Nodi Gang, 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 Gang. And also make sure you click all the links in the description. Save us on TikTok it because if it gets obliterated, we'll just make another one because you can't fucking stop us, TikTok. You can't. Um, audio platforms: Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I just the sexy. funniest thing. Hmm? Huh? It says the dude said I once took a girl out to eat and I talked to twelve a.m. so my direct deposit could hit. I saw that too. It's creative. Wait, what? He, he said joke, I once bro. took this girl out to eat and I talked all the way to twelve a.m. so I could wait to my direct deposit to hit. Y'all niggas doing that is so fucking dumb. Don't do that. If you can't, if you can't afford to take somebody, just don't do it, bro. Y'all niggas is mad insecure. Don't be insecure, Kings. If you can't, mm. if you can't afford to take her out, find yourself, grow as an individual, mm. so you can get to that point where you don't have to wait on a direct deposit to take somebody else else out. Because that's crazy. Because then you gonna sit there and tell yourself, man, why did I stress myself out so much? Just take her out. She ain't really worth. Like that's how you gonna be, and then you are gonna be spiteful of women, even though you the one. Doing dumb shit, bro. And also to all my um, female YouTubers out there, if y'all want to react to what we said today, please do, because I I actually want to know the answer to that question. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Deuces.